Either way as well. Eh? Thank yeah. you for coming. That I'm so glad you said that because I'm too scared to go to the toilet. I'm, I'm yelling in this toilet. building because I'm convinced the building's haunted. So <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not going. On, I'm not going. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, there's two separate toilets. No, I'm, I'm waiting till you come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful people. Listen, if you enjoy watching our podcast, we are on Patreon, and that's patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod. You get to see a lot more of us, and obviously, you're helping support us in what we're doing. Matty, what can you expect on the Patreon? And if you just don't want to wait for the release of the public episode, you get early access to all public episodes at least 48 hours before. And not only that, not only that, you can get a minimum of two exclusive Patreon episodes a month. Obviously, if you've got the time available, we'll throw a third and a fourth in. But don't get fucking greedy, all right? Don't be getting greedy. Also, already on there, in the back catalogue, there's a few Peyton specials where the lads gone out with cameras. We've had a laugh. We've gone to Ninja Warrior where I folded Bobby in half. We went to the driving range where Danny deep throws with the fucking three wood and was in bits. It was fantastic. <laughs> What else, Dan? Yeah, so the Patreon, basically, as Bobby said earlier, it's another way for you to support us in what we're doing, more so than you already do. But it's an easier way for you to get in touch with us as well. So if you want to have some input in the content that's getting produced on the Patreon, you subscribe to the Patreon and you can message us directly on there and one of us four will see it. We will respond and we'll take what you're saying into account. You're getting the backlog of the specials that are already there and there's going to be at least one a month coming every month from now on. You're getting the a, a, a minimum of two Patreon exclusive episodes a month, which you will only see if you're on the Patreon and the early access. You're getting all that bundled in and it's £4 a month. So if that's something you want to see, you want to get more involved, you like us and you want to see more of us, patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod, link down in the description. We love you. Hello, welcome back. Episode number 52 of the What's Happening Podcast. Thank you for joining us once again this week. We have got the pleasure to be joined by Adam Rowe himself. How are we doing, mate? That was very, very <laughs> professional. It was, it was. And that's the only I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> that... I feel like I'm on Sunday brunch. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's uh, just go from the normal conversation. You're on Good Morning Britain. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Dan was saying when Dan was on. He was like, what the fuck was that? pride of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> yeah, to good to be here. On the couch, they've been working together. <laughs> Here's your award. Well done. Oh, yeah. How are you anyway? It's good to have you in. Do you know what, lad? I'm not going to lie to you. I was dead excited when I booked this in. And do you know what happened to drive here today? Oh, in a cunt of a mood. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I've just had one of those weeks where everything's doing me head in. And the big part. So last, last week I was in. I did three days in Brussels and three in Budapest with mm-hmm. me, missus. On the plane between the two, my ear popped, oh. and it hasn't gone back. That's horrible. Even ever. now, That's ever. and I've got tinnitus in it, so I've just had. Eh. So I, w- I went to the private hospital this morning because, like, the NHS were like, "Yeah, we'll see you in three years if it hasn't gone away." <laughs> so I paid two hundred quid, yeah. two hundred pounds. Still doing it. Get <laughs> the doctor looked at it and went, "Yeah, yeah that can't like- happen." <laughs> 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 nice one, lads. That, that can't happen, Where and it's horrible and. It's just, you know, it. We, we'd normally say in three months, if it hasn't gone away, then we'll put a hole in your eardrum oh, yeah. and no. drain the fluid because no. there's a bit of fluid behind it. And I was like, so I've just got to wait for three months. He went, yeah, yeah. He went, so you're flying anytime soon? He said, I'm going to New York on Tuesday. He said, but is that it for the next three months? I went, no, I'm going to Nashville in April and then I'm going somewhere else at the end of June that I haven't booked yet. And he went, right, yeah. And he went, well, none of that's going to help. Uh, <laughs> but you might want to get some of the Sudafed spray because that we'll works sometimes. three months, though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that, that's doing me head in. I can't sleep properly because it's like there's a fire alarm going off in me <laughs> in my own head. It's not even like in my build, not the build no <laughs> There's a fire alarm in my head. It's like, fucking, it's like Bradley Cooper in Star is Born when his tennis is going to hang up in the garage. Oh, the man. Find him swinging. Honestly, and I, I've done no admin for months. And I just know, I know I've got so much. My tour gets announced this week. So tomorrow morning I'm saying, oh, my tour's going on sale next week. And it goes on sale next week. So I've had back and forth with the promoter all day. Because like, I did my last tour on my own. Yeah. And I was like, do you know what? Can't handle this. It's too much admin. Yeah. How much work's behind it, doing it on your own? You, you would never... Be, you'd have to do one to it's understand. Because yeah. in my head I was you like... Because I've done one on my own before. And it was smaller. And then I did one with Live Nation in the past. And, I mean, they might not be overjoyed with me saying this out loud on the internet. I wasn't totally happy. 
yeah. with yeah. the way they handled it because yeah. I was a but I understand it now like you're just a number to them I was a no but a very small number yeah. like my whole tour made them like a quarter of what one of Ricky Gervais's dates makes yeah yeah, 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 yeah. do you know what I mean so like me ringing up going where's all me stuff they'd be but like that, but that's we're a bit though, busy because for you that's the fucking biggest thing you've done so far so it's yeah. dead important to you yeah. and they're just like nah so because of that on me last tour I was like I'm just gonna do it myself and I did it and when I get like me ADHD hyper focusing and I'm just fucking blathering it yeah it's I can get a lot done in an afternoon. Yeah. But when you've got loads of little tiny things that you've missed and they all add up, like if you do it on your own, you've got to contact every venue. Yeah. Every single one. Then once you've contacted the venue, you've got to get put through to the right person. Yeah. The programmer manager. Once you've programmed it, and to program it, you've got to agree a split, agree a ticket fee. Yeah. yeah. And you this isn't ju- you can't just send a, a document and go, here's the split I want and here's the fee. Because yeah. every theatre like there's some cities that I'm like 22 quid in but then there's other theatres where they're like oh our, our shows start at 24 yeah, yeah, yeah. so you've got to be yeah. 24 so it's you've got to have that conversation with every theatre that's what the programme manager then he'll go right well you programmed in here's your contract you got to sign the contract wait for them to sign it then he'll give you to their marketing manager yeah. who wants the, the image on your poster an image not on your poster so that their marketing can look different they want the font you've used on everything so that they can edit it oh, and yeah. you've yeah. got to do that with ev- so if you end up doing you know, 40, 50, 60 dates. Yeah. You're That's a lot of yeah, conversations. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot that. to do. No. And your ears just going... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not doing it myself. <laughs> this sounds t- like Carragher. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gerard. Um, Stop right. <laughs> but I'm not doing it myself this time, but there's still been a lot because there's been like... My tours happen at the exact same time as... Dan Nightingale's and anyone who doesn't know, Dan and me host a podcast together. <laughs> We've got a, an audience who, you know... That they're gonna want to probably see both of us. Yeah. yeah. So like, I was in Coventry the same night he was in Warwick, which are just the same place yeah. basically. Yeah. And I, we had to go back and be like, we can't do that. Like, we can have them a night apart. Yeah. Then people make, the maybe make a weekend of it or whatever. But we, we'll just split the audience of yeah. like, um. So like, it's just it's being complicated. And I've been dealing with that today on top of the fucking doctor fucking can't be asked. And I just <laughs> flashbang. <laughs> it's uh, it, it's it's just been one of them weeks. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Fuck. I say fuck that. that it's, a, it's a problem I'd like to have at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a first world problem. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But I live in the first world. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's battered with me tour and that and me fucking ears going off. So many tickets going on sale. Oh my god. So talking about a Budapest, me and my missus actually go to Budapest next week. What was it like? I've never been. Any any pointers? Was George Ezra there? No, he wasn't. <laughs> I was fucking out for him though. Bring, uh, bring earbuds. Yeah, yeah. Bring, bring earbuds for the play. I, 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 the we flew with Brussels airline and it was one of the worst planes I've ever been on. <laughs> and he just dropped it like it wasn't like, you know, like a like slow descent. It was just like, fuck off. We're here! Yeah. <laughs> like, like so plain. No wonder you got your tinnitus in your ear. Um, <laughs> Drop the pressure too quick. Exactly. I'm ho- I'm flying with fucking Virgin on Tuesday. I just hope there's just a, a I hope Branson's flying in himself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Commons and fire. First class delivery. <laughs> um, you look like Branson's love child, lad. Thanks. I'll take that, mate. <laughs> With, I no. wish I had a tenth of a dollar. I'd be made up. I'd be fucking made up. Um, so I didn't know. Apparently, Budapest bum, like bad stomach, okay, is a thing. Okay, I've I've been fucked. Like I was what, wiped off, out for two well, days. What's that because of the food or because of the ale? I or don't know. The water. Oh, did you go the thermal bats? Yeah. Well, so we were planning on doing the thermal bats, right? So you've we got to like, go the thermal bats. Yeah. Right? So we were like, what are they? We, so they've it's got these big. It's pizza Lloyd's, but outside and yeah, yeah, Okay. Basically, basically, okay. Basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. We, I was looking them up and it was like, oh, do you do the parties and that day? So we was like, oh, go ahead, we'll go to parties. And then we looked at the reviews and it's like, no, you don't want to go to parties. Like, ah. if you're going to go, go in the day because everyone just gets shit face, spews it, the pisses. Pool. People are at the back having a wank. Just like, you know, all over the whole thing. Pool mushrooms everywhere. Just <laughs> just <laughs> so, party, but you know, you're all tugging the corner. Did you go in the daytime? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. It's it's just, just it's a swimming bath, bath but the, the water's dead hot. Yeah. Like the water's like thirty degrees. And can you have a bevy in the daytime as well? Can you? Yeah, but you can't take the bevy into the water. All oh, right, okay. But like, there's loads of place space around it where you can just like sit on a bench. Like, you, your feet could basically be in it while you're having it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can't fine. you can't take the pints into the water, but that's a good thing because otherwise it. Yeah, be no, I, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, be yeah, yeah, um, Is it cold? Australia? Is it the like the city? Like the pla- like was it cold while you it were was, there? It was. 
mild, but like I'd just been to Brussels and Brussels was colder than it is. Yeah, 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 Brussels, yeah, okay. was, Brussels was also shit. What did you was go to Brussels? Shite, yeah? Ten out of ten would not recommend. Would you, what really? did you go? What did you go to Brussels just as a holiday? City so my missus bought bought us these two for Christmas. Yeah. Which was a fucking sly move from here, by the way, yeah. in, a, in the best way. Mm. But like, we hadn't, we haven't been together very long. <laughs> in the best way. But you know, like when you start seeing someone just before like a major thing, like one of your birthdays, yeah. or don't yeah, buy yeah, me yeah, anything. Yeah. 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 I've got to return that favour then, but better. <laughs> no, I don't mind. But she warned me not to go over the top. I was like, well, we're gonna, I've yeah. got to get, like, it's been long enough. It been like, you know, we got together at the end of October. So I was like, it's long enough where it's we, yeah. I've got to get something. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah, gone, yeah. gone quarter of the year. And I'm, I'm, I'm such a fucking. Like the reason I'm on stage is I want people to like me and I will try and buy their love with presents. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, so true. I want to just spoil someone yeah. if I'm with them, right? And she knew that about me, not from me being like, I'm going to get you everything. Yeah, like just yeah. she'd picked up that that was my vibe. And she was like, I'm fucking telling you right now, Adam, do not go over the top. Like whatever you do, don't go over yeah. the top. And then that's she's got two city breaks in the back. <laughs> yeah. oh, so she, she's like, at the head, isn't <laughs> she, got, she goes, I, I'm telling you, she goes, if you give me too much on Christmas morning, you won't make me happy, you'll make me cry. He got a bottle <laughs> of Prime and two scratch cards. <laughs> the it's a wakey one. more than a fucking city break. <laughs> I, I got an Art of Monkeys tickets. Okay, that's right. 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 So uh, I was like, right, that'll do. Because she's told me not to go over the top. I get yeah. a couple of stock and fillers and that, you know, a little bottle of perfume or yeah. whatever, but that, that'll do. I told Carl, my best mate, like what I'd got her. And she'd contacted Carl to make sure I hadn't been to either of those cities ah, before because okay. she wanted aware. So And Carl comes to me and went, lad, I'm not telling you what it is, but I'm just telling you now. Buy better presents. You've got to get at least one more thing. <laughs> yeah. Because... Like, city. <laughs> she, she shits all over you yeah. And I was like well, I was going to ah, book Like a spa day That's not doing your anxiety Any good though is it <laughs> I was like I'm going to book A spa day a card and bark And he goes Yeah that'll pretty much Level it out yeah. Do that yeah. Do that And I open them on uh, Christmas day And still she beat me Do you know what I mean yeah, yeah, She's yeah. fucked this year If we're still together At Christmas this year She's getting Fucking out She's going to sob On Christmas morning I'm going to ruin like, you're <laughs> For you um, so that's why we went. She booked it. Yeah. Um, she hated Brussels as well. Not hated it. Do yeah. you know what? I'm glad I went and I'm glad to just say I'll never go back. Is Brussels mm. Belgium? Yeah. 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 I've been to Antwerp and yeah. it was it was okay. Belgium it was a country. It's just a bit but I, I yeah, went, a bit I went, land, to, I went for Tomorrowland, so I was I was yeah. there yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, sighty and that, you know what I mean? Brussels, every fucking place you pass sells chips or waffles. Yeah. That's all the food. Do you know yeah. what's starting to piss me off, right? I said this the other week. Here we there's, go. There's, listen, <laughs> lad, no, listen, it's been doing me head in, right? You know what loaded fries are, obviously? Like, yeah. it's it's chips with stuff on. Right? <laughs> That's it. It's a fact. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Factually speaking, it's chips with other stuff on the chips. I've seen there's one open in town on Dale Street. Now, I'll be honest, lovely, right? <laughs> but they're, they're advertising them as Belgian fries. Mm. And it's not. It's just loaded fries. You can't slap a country on it and go, that's 15 quid because you put chicken and parsley on top of your chips with buffalo Bel sauce. Belgian fries aren't necessarily top fries. Belgian fries is just Belgian potatoes and I think it's a specific type of oil. They've got like a sweetness to them. Have you been kicking off and you haven't even fucked at this? <laughs> it's just good. It's yeah. got nothing to do with the comments on top of the yeah. top. Yeah. I've been slandering but the, but they're not even that good. They're not even that good. Like they're I'd, not the best. I'd take any Scouse Chippies chips over oh. any Belgian fries. Any day That's of the week. Fair. That's what about, what about fair. Five Guys chips? Different that, level of chips. I then. can't have Five Guys because it's nut oil on my beard. Well, I can't have it if not my beard. Like, but my beard's anaphylactic, so Whoosh. never tried it. Whoosh. Just yeah. neck it's, them, like. it's it's Even not chip, um, I I don't think they're very good. Don't you like them? Mm. I think it's just Overrated. the peanut oil, me. I, I think that's all it is. I it just cause they, they mm. taste different to yeah. every other chip you, you find get. That you know with, I mean? with some sort of fucking food chains like that, where they'll be fantastic, and then when they blow up, they just can't maintain the quality, and they just try and go for quantity, and they just shit. Then you know what I mean? No, I yeah. think this is a preference thing. I can imagine Five Guys to be some people's favorite chips. Yeah, yeah, good. But they're not favorite. mine. They're not my favorite. What's your favorite? But chip? I do like them. Like a fast food place, like if you if you if you had to pick a chip. If we're going for like chains of fast food, like Mackey's, KFC, Burger King places. KFC is the worst. Any. Then See, it's Mackey's, isn't it? Like, yeah, Mackey's been a Mackey's all day. Yeah, yeah. I I disagree. I I reckon right when KFC changed their the fries from the fries. To I'll the get skin off, you know. Fries, <laughs> <skin on bread. laughs> so, <laughs> still like the KFC chips. No, you don't. I do. You dip them in the gravy. Maybe not on their own. No, I'll be honest. Maybe on their own. It's the gravy you like. Yeah, that's a terrible show. That's the gravy you like. <laughs> 
It's like, saying, it's like me saying Burger King's my favourite chips as long as I've got a hawk's more steak. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not. It's well, not absolutely like chips, chips, is it? <laughs> does any, uh, does anyone as long get, as they're not Belgian. Does anyone get the beans in KFC? No, because no. I don't shout uh, I'm, I'm yeah. Mark, right? And this is why me marshal the board of them, right? He gets the burger, <laughs> pours his beans on his burger, and eats it, and it's just everywhere, all in his fucking fingers. His Who's this? I'm ah, Mark, he's a dickhead. Who's brother, your Mark? I'm my brother. He's a is he older or younger? He's, he's older. I'm the youngest. Yeah, uh, this is a grown man. Yeah, he's forty. On beans on burgers. <laughs> Burger bean. That's a proper special he's, needs kid. He's a, yeah, that he, is, he is. He is special, but he's he's a grown man as well who can't even wipe his own ass. He watches this, what? right? I've told you before. I lived with him for a while. Well, obviously I lived with him because my brother. But I moved in with him when he when I was an adult. And my bedroom was next to the bathroom, and every time he'd go for a shit, I'd hear him bork. And I pulled my went lad. What are you balking for? Are you fucking like bleeding or something? He went, Oh no, I don't like the sensation of like my hand going by my bum hole. It makes me sick. That was your first (laughs) guess. So, yeah, that, that yeah. wasn't as he had like too much to drink as he got a bug. <laughs> Your first guess was bulimia. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and he was like, nah. knocking on the wall. You got bulimia, man. <laughs> that is a bell show money, and it's going on, man. But no, he just said that I don't like the sensation of my fingers by my arsehole. It makes me sick. And I was like, you definitely got finger by my arsehole, like you when you were a kid. Yeah, it makes sense. No, <laughs> so we can't wipe his arse because it makes him sick. I don't need to wipe my arse now. I've got a toilet. Lad, that's oh, really yeah. Nice. Oh, I was going to Japanese talk. ones. Yeah. It's funny. That I, I was watching South Park the other day. I don't know if you you probably watched South Park. I've been told I've had about fifty tweets and messages going. Get on the latest episode of South Park, yeah, but I don't watch it's it. It's literally the brand, like the most newest one that they brought out, and it's, it's in your bathroom. They ba- yeah, they need a, they need a, they need a new toilet, so they goes and buys a new toilet, and he's made up with it, fucking blow dries his ass and all that, and then turns out he gets hunted by the toilet paper companies in America, oh. and get, like nearly gets killed and everything because like they're cutting all trees down. But what's it? What's it? What is your? What, what, like, is the what, first is it, time is it you good? use it weird? <laughs> no. No, does, does it, it feel just, nice? It's just wonderful. <laughs> does it feel nice? Like well, getting your I'm, ass I'm, I'm, I've I'm never a... come while your ass is getting washed. <laughs> I'm a wank while you get, you get I your ass. I refuse to comment on the ground. Make it. No, <laughs> I I but the fit. I'm telling you now, right? This is going to sound like I'm making it up. Okay, go on. Comedy effect, but I'm not. Go okay. on, go on, go on. There's been a couple of times I've been hungover and I've gone and used it without having a shit. <laughs> Just to clean your ass. <laughs> it's not to clean it, it's not to be clean. Just nice. I just go and just, just, up. I just go and just sit on the toilet <laughs> and just square my ass out. So right, do you not do use you toilet yourself? paper then? I don't have to. You don't but you but you do. Sometimes it's a, it's it's a trust thing, that isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Does the yeah. toilet dry your ass for your afternoon? Yeah, it's got to dry it. Really? Oh, okay, yeah, so I was going to say you maybe need a <laughs> couple a of sheets. Fucking little borrower like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say maybe you need a couple of sheets to dry it, but if it does it for you, I'll probably never it, buy it so all again. It dries it, and, but then sometimes it's like sometimes I still have toilet paper there because I'm like I feel like it isn't, and then you I wipe and it's it's clean well, and dry. So talk to me through the process, right? So you'll open your door. Your toilet seat will open and sink to you, and then yeah. you'll sit. Does it actually open, open and like fucking? No, no, no. It. It's like it, it, I still have to lift it up. Is it still a manual toilet? Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you know another boss thing about it though? It's got a little light in the in the bowl, so you can check your shit. So, so you know, in the middle of the night you when you wake up on. and you're like, oh fuck, <laughs> and you like you you normally have to turn like a bathroom light on, and it's like you're in the fucking dentist, and it's the brightest thing in the world. <laughs> it's horrible. The, just that, like, if I just need a piss in the night, oh, we just, yeah. I, can, I don't have to send the big lights on. I can, and I, I, it's just easier to get back to the light. That's sad, uh, man. It, the only way they could improve it is by giving you little black fella with loads of aftershaves in the corner. Like, that would be the only way <laughs> to Why do does he have to be black? <laughs> why why can't we just have a white guy? Because they're always black. Why can't a guy? Well, it could guy. just be a white guy. Okay, right, then, yeah. yeah. Racist. Yeah. 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 I'm not a very racist with some savage yeah, in the just, corner. Yeah. Just, some savage. I, 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 just, I just think, you know, just have, like, a, a white lad from Wigan who's just fell on hard time. Do you want some in Wigan? I'm shave in my toilet. No, I'm mad in up that. What, so... So and that's all it does. So you'll sit on it. It'll you'll shit. It'll clean you. It'll dry you, and then that's it. Yeah. And so that's, that's all it nice does. But, like earlier on, so I went for that hearing appointment on like Allerton Road, yeah. that Spire Hospital in yeah. Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Bank. And that was at, at ten o'clock in the morning. They said, "Oh, you got to come back at half one." For the hearing test, so I took myself to the tavern and had a little brekkie. Yeah, I was just trying Ooh, to stay in the area long. rather than go. Yeah. Back, do you yeah. know what I mean? But then I needed a shit after the tavern. Did you go home? I went home. <laughs> Drove all wait, the way wait, back to town because I was fair. like, I'm Oh, do you live in town as well? Yeah. Oh, that's, on a, that's a bit of a distance. But, yeah. I imagine you're a hairy fella. Mm. 
Like, yeah. You have pure Klingons and raisins stuck to your bum hole. Does it get rid of everything? I shave me bum hole. Do you? Yeah. I do. I shave me bum hole. Uh, what's it Since like you got that Manscaped kit. No, I, it's, I, it's I've got to be move. honest with you. I use Manscaped for most places. Underarms, me mons, pubis, do right down to me. Under your arms? What? Do you shave under your arms? Yeah, because you, you've got no idea how hairy I am, Danny. <laughs> Give us a look. <laughs> I think I've done it quite recently. Give us a look again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I have to. So what do, you, what do you do your ass with then? As it's you let, like the weed Oh, with your old ass with that I I I do let me ass, yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. I in thought it'd be a bit more. Like, oh, in the bath. Yeah. Do you use uh, a mirror or do you just go in blind? I just go in blind. I can feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's it? I can't do it by feel. I've got a like. Like, let me wait there. So I've got to, like, I stand up and then we've got one of them mirrors go in the bathroom with, like, the little thing you can turn the mirror like that. Yeah. So I put the mirror there. I and put, just, like, stand up. Da- like, this, this is against evolution. This lad, like, humans are not meant to see their own arsehole. Oh. It, like, messes with your soul and your chakras yeah. and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> really? Like, you're not meant to see your own bum hole. I've only looked at my own bum hole when I've squatted over a mirror when I've had major Ashley Giles, like, and I could feel them. I was like, I need to see how bad these are. And it was well, I honestly cannot get my head around, right? Ever being like, oh, I might have piles, I need to have a look at them. <laughs> and not going to a medical professional. <laughs> <laughs> I used to just my, poke them back up. I do when the, my beard walked in on me before when I've been like pushing piles back in the shower and she was like, I'm going to fucking swear if you, you know you're it, a trump. Is that I can't thing, imagine yeah. that's a nice thing to walk in on for anyone. Does no, it feel really? nice though, like anal beard sort of? Finger in your arse out. <laughs> just pushing fucking hemorrhoids back in, it's not the best. Like. I've got a nice mm-hmm. bum hole. Danny, see my bum hole? I've got a picture of my arsehole, first time I ever Listen, shaved it. And I took a picture and I was like, oh, get on that. And he was like, do you know what? That's a nice Listen, asshole, I, this, this was a few years ago This I was just sitting in the house Minding my own business His arsehole Had never crossed my mind Up until this point <laughs> yeah. And naturally speaking And then I get to Snapchat off him And I thought it'd just be like, like they Could be anything And I've opened Snapchat it Snapchat as well Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Like a Snapchat I, I live in the now You know what I mean he, I'm quite he's, dangerous he's, he's, he's you know He, he lives on the edge <laughs> So I've checked it and I've opened it. Just a little chocolate it was, just, it was just the most cleanly vetoed bum hole ever. But listen, right, I'm not gonna. You know, sometimes, right? Do you know when, like, when, when maybe you're shagging a bird and like they've got a bit of a weird looking asshole? Like, you're like, yeah. you're like that doesn't look like an asshole. Maybe you should. There's either too many lines. It's a bit too wide. There's too much of a brown circle around it. <laughs> like, great like asshole. Fucking yeah. tight worm's mouth. Or I'll give him that. Or... He's got a. He, he's, I don't want. I don't want to know what mine looks like. Do you want to see the picture of his? Do you want to see mine? No, I'm all right. Are you sure? (laughs) You can keep that. I've got it saved. Especially because it was a few years ago and it doesn't look like that anymore. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm I'm taking credit credit off myself. That's fair. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm taking credit off myself. That makes sense. So, what I want to ask you know as well, you've just got back from the dam. You just went up and filmed the the page. January, yeah. I know I've not got around to watching it, but you said that Dan was on the mushrooms like the whole yeah. time he was there. Did you have a go with him yourself? No. Nah. No. So I w- my initial plan was because I'm not into drugs and never have been. Fair yeah. enough. I was gonna go and just do everything. Yeah. And then everyone I told that to went. <laughs> <laughs> <Lad. Yeah. laughs> yeah. Park the bus. Yeah. Like get a one nil lead and fucking defend it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> go on the first day. Get out your fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, so I had I had a, a couple of pulls of Dean Coglin's joint. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he bought one of the big fucking volcano bag things. I've been the most weed, I, indie avid joint weed ever. smoker, but I do don't smoke weed. No. Dean Coglin, the avid weed yeah, smoker. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be taking a joint off him for my first time. Especially you'd never smoked it, because yeah. I imagine that's a bigger than average joint. If you if and when you get round to watching it, mm-hmm. right? I will watch it. I, I went yeah. I went I've seen it very I, yeah, close yeah, yeah. to the edge of the mountain because, yeah. like, yeah. I, I just Carl couldn't. fell off the mountain. Carl went completely. Yeah, I've seen, seen a little clip I've never, seen, head down on never the table. seen a kid look so white in my life. Honestly, lad, Honestly, he, he went white, white in my yeah. t-shirts. I'm not really? messing. Like, yeah, it, 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 he went a dead. colour I've never seen a human go. That's yeah. that's weird. But I just like, and apparently I sent him there because I just went, "You're fucked, you." And apparently that's what sent him off. And you had the red hood, you know, something, didn't you? And he was going, "I just seen red." I was like, "The fucking demon, lad, he's sending me." But I just couldn't stop laughing. That's I, I couldn't. That's, that's, that's the good. That's the best reaction. That's the worst thing you can do to someone, though. When you're all like fucked off, like lad, you, you look right? fucked. You know, you're you yeah. all right. It's like, oh my god, because it's it, it you confirm and everything you're thinking. Like, am I fucked here or am I all right? And as soon as someone goes, you're fucked. You go. We had like well, a couple I'm of minutes where we were just like like laughing with each other. Yeah. And then Steve said something. Like, Steve went, "Oh fuck me," because they hadn't said anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah Steve's yeah. off camera for most of yeah. it. Yeah. And then I went, oh, he does look fucked. Went, you look fucked as well. And he just, <laughs> he just he's, off the camera. He's just gone. Yeah, he's just literally gone. That's, I, 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 well, I was going to tell Gary this before because I'd not got to tell him, but I thought 
I say, even for when there's cameras, I got on the mushrooms on the weekend. We went to this little event where most people get together in the forest, yeah, um, in an undisclosed location. Um, no, it wasn't. You just told us it was the forest. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not telling you what forest. I'm not telling you what. There's many forests. Um, it was in a Delamere forest. Yeah. It actually wasn't. It actually wasn't. When you go away. But, uh, but yeah, so we were all on the mushrooms. And like these these these, these events, they happen like, like, like once a month. I don't go to all of them, but I went there. And um, like these, these so like before everybody got going, because you go there, you like, you, like, you like little campfires. Some people camp there overnight, they get up the next morning, cook a brekkie, and then go home. Um, <laughs> But like, like so, like everyone's lighting little fires. You're all sitting on these fires, the tunes on and that. And these two busies have turned up before everything's got going. And, and uh, like, like, listen, I know there's a stereotype about the police anyway. But these were the two biggest. I don't know about that stereotype. Can you tell me? Little it? gimps, lads. To be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, but like, like these two were the two fucking biggest gimps I've ever seen in my life. So the the fucking the main one. Like he's the fucking the big fella. PC Gimp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Constable Gimp yeah, yeah. to you, sir. Um, he's walked in and be like, right, guys, listen. He's Aww. like, listen. But he had wellies on for the forest, didn't he? <laughs> well, he, he, yeah, he left his hat on and everything. Aww. And he was like, yeah, we don't mind you having your little gatherings. Like, but you can't light any fires. This is definitely Delamere Forest. Well, it's true, it's weird. It's than you think. And he's like, uh, he's like, it hasn't rained in months, right? And these trees, if you light a fire, the trees will go up. Oh, right, he thinks he's in fucking Calabasas. Like, will go up. Money. And I thought, I'll say this as a joke, he'll appreciate it. I was like, well, what other way do you see trees going? <laughs> this was at the weekend. Yeah, this is Saturday just gone. And he, he said it hadn't rained in months. It hadn't rained in months. Yeah, he's deluded, isn't he? Yeah, Where's it hasn't rained in months. It's probably still winter, I'd say. But it's it hasn't fucking rained in snowing months, today. today. Yeah, no, I know, yeah. So he's like, it, it hasn't rained in months. He's like, these trees will go up. And then do there's, do there's the other busy still behind them going, mm-hmm, yeah, no. With his hands in his vest and everything. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like spinning his cuffs around and that. Like, no, they will, they'll go up. And then fucking, he would be like, all right, lad, go ahead, son, nice one, mate. And they've, told, told, they've got off. And then about... An hour later, we were like, right, fuck it, they're not coming back. Let's get the fires, it's fucking freezing. He was up the tree watching us. <laughs> He's like, I have gone up. <laughs> and so we were like, we light these fires, fuck it, let's crack on, it's freezing. We've, so we, we've, we haven't lit the fires. Um, <laughs> and then, about about like, about an hour or two later, this this group of like, few lads and a few birds went for a little walk through like the forest and they went up this hill. And then about 20 minutes later, they've come fucking sprinting back down. They've been like, kick the fires out. There's about 40 police cars on the hill. Kick the fires out. So everyone's been fucking tripping on the Muslims, going, oh, for fuck's sake, we like fucking kicking sand on the fires and uh, getting getting rid of all these fires. Um, there was still loads of smoke, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Like, it was obvious to Sorry, officer, we were just making some burgers. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> been having a beef to that super king. Just <laughs> 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 everyone like that on the fight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Elf bars for you, this, lad. <laughs> And then, I, I was there with me mate, me mate Phil, he's been on the podcast, so me and him are sitting there, and then it's been about a half an hour, no plot have turned up, like not a single busy in sight, they were going, we've seen loads of torches, loads of blue flashing lights, they're on the way, and it's been about 45 minutes, no plot. So I was like, I should probably phone the police to send a search party out <laughs> for the previous ones they sent, because they've gone missing, like, they're gone. And I was like... By, by the time I was an hour had gone by, I was like, look, it's freezing. There's clearly no police. I was like, let's get the fires back on. I was like, what are we doing? So we've lit the fires again. A few of the people who, who a few people ran away when they, when, they, when we said there was police. We never seen them again the whole night. They were gone. I don't know where they are now. Blair like, Witch Project, they finished. <laughs> I like. hope they got home okay. Because we didn't see them again for the rest of the night. And they were meant to be camping. So the tents were still there. But they were gone. They couldn't have drove home because they'd been tripping on Muslims. What for, like, did they run away for? I don't know. That's the thing. Like, if you, you sit there and take them mushrooms, it's, it's yeah, a class A, like. Class a. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Can't yeah. you just blag that? Like, you've brought them from like has them. No, but, <laughs> no, but isn't it, no, sorry. Isn't it a weird <laughs> law? With, isn't it a weird law with mushrooms where it's not illegal to take them, but it's illegal? To, it's illegal. It's illegal to sell anything. So, so it, like, it's the law is weird. It's if you get caught tripping on mushrooms, that's not illegal, but you can't have them in your possession or sell them. So if you just happen to fall <laughs> face first into a field and eat some mushrooms, or if you've got them. And the busy hasn't quite got to yeah, it. You yeah, just swallow them all. Yeah, you okay, scram yeah, them. Yeah. So me and me mate have anyway. That's we've a up, heavy trip, that. We've up, no, but listen, like, I was like, there's obviously no fucking police. I was like, let's light the fires back, get the music back. The busy's been dressed as mushrooms. Honestly, I was like, let's all just chill. I was like, let's all relax. And then we've been chilling a couple of hours ago. And me mate's been like, apparently the view up on the hill where they went lovely, you know. 
it was like, should we go out for a little walk and have a look? And I was like, yeah, come on. So we get up there and we've looked out and what they thought was like 40, 50 police cars all parked up, right? Now, the blue lights they seen, if you look far enough out into the distance, there's like, wind turbines, oh my God. right? So I've come back down and been like, you fucking idiots. I was like, the, the, the police cars you seen were wind turbines, right? And then three other kids have come running. I'm sure I've just seen plot of everything. There's no police, you know. I was like, there's no police anywhere, lad. But yeah. How I'd much of a fucking dickhead you'd have to be to confuse a wind turbine for the police car? Well, no, because they've just yeah. been sipping on mushrooms and seen the blue flashing lights <laughs> you know what and I mean? shit themselves and come down. People got off, but do you know the sickest thing about it was, like last time I went to one of these things, this woman had brought a big pot of chilli con carne for everyone. <laughs> People are mad, you know. <laughs> and then, and then this time there was these people with this like very professional look on fire. You have the, crockery down. Listen, I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> bowls and, and, the, and the pour. Oh yeah, like bowls, everything. Um, and <laughs> like, like, like up chili and the, yeah. the whole, the whole <laughs> shebang. <laughs> and then these people, this time, had the proper professional look on campfire. They had like wood round it. They had the shopping baskets over it. And I was oh like, I'm curious as to why you put a shopping basket over that fire. And they were like, oh, like a been, metal one, like like like, like, like one from the Tesco. Basket. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's probably basket. more illegal having a metal shopping and basket. They were, <laughs> uh, and they were like, oh, we've been making burritos, by the way. They like just want one, so they've used this fucking shopping basket over the fire to make burritos, wrap them up in tin foil, and cook them. The best burritos. Oh, used as like a grill. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, okay. and it and it was so well made as well. It was fucking lovely, you know. But yeah, I'd really highly recommend getting on the mushrooms and eating a burrito if you if. if <laughs> If you're just, ever thinking about it. I really turbines. enjoyed having the weed in Amsterdam, but it wasn't something I wanted to do again anytime uh, soon. I think that's fair enough. Yeah, there. I think especially when you go to Amsterdam as well, regardless of like how much weed you smoke, I reckon the first joint you have in Amsterdam is the one that puts you in a headlock. And then when you have your second and third and whatever, you're fine. It's that first one that'll just absolutely just chaos, yeah. especially if you've never smoked it either as well. Yeah, yeah smoking. Would you, would I, reckon you'd have had, I reckon you'd have had a better time on the mushrooms than the... Than the well, a couple of people have said that. Um, if I go back, we're, we're, the Amsterdam thing that we did for our podcast has been the most popular thing we've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to have to go somewhere oh, else. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Um, and do it again. Cali. Or maybe it's back there. Because like. the thing with the weed is like, uh, do you have like an anxiety? Yeah. So it's it's one of them. It's like if you've got anxiety and you have a joint, it's, it's sometimes it's gonna bring up that anxiety. And you, yeah, with the mushrooms is the opposite. If you've got anxiety, it'll consider kick, it it'll kick them out. Consider it'll fuck it them off. Completely. It's weird. You know what I mean? You'd have had a better time on the mushrooms. I didn't get anxiety. I did feel like my left leg was working of its own accord. My right <laughs> leg was manual. <laughs> That's just being too stoned. That yeah. <laughs> so, no, someone made me at white in college saying that to you. Like, we just had the joint <laughs> and then he cried. And we were warm <laughs> man. That way at that time. That was the time. Was it? And um, and they were like. Hey, have you ever noticed, you know, when you walk, and I was like, yeah, you're like, you're not actually putting any effort into that. You just think of where you want to go, and your legs just take you. And I had to sit down. Like, oh, no. I was like, I don't like that, you know. I was like, I'm not, I'm not into that. I literally, my left leg was doing its own thing, but it was like, I was like, mm. like, I, like, <laughs> one, one was like, like, and then yeah. a footstep. Yeah. And we, I, it's I, like I was going downstairs, but on like, foot. but on like flat ground. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Nah, you're not grabbing it. <laughs> it was fucking horrible. Dabbing that was the worst bit, but then I was just like, I was trying to explain that I couldn't understand why, why my hands work. Oh, I see yeah, the clip yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. That was fucked with the bottle of Coke. was hilarious, you know. And I haven't seen this bit, but apparently it is in it. But I don't know whether it got edited out. I, when we went to Chinese restaurant, you know the fellow who goes around take, getting the plates and putting them yeah. on a trolley? Yeah. I stood up and was screaming, this cunt's got the best job in the world. I was saying he's got the best job in the world. Grab he just gets plates. to eat people's leftovers. How good <laughs> your job when you don't have to pay for food? Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I've spoken to a few people who are going to the dam for the first time, <coughs> and they've said like mates who smoke weed have said, "Listen, smoke weed a few times before you go." Yeah. But for the show, for the special, mm. it was all about the reaction. He's yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. First times you can. I'm just so glad it was that way round. I know that's selfish, but Carving like being fucked. Carl just being absolutely goosed and me having like the time of my life for four or five yeah. hours. It's funny because yeah. you're dead competitive as well, aren't you? It's like you have been for your whole life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like you must have one up on Carl now because he fucking Cause he, ate white. he it, yeah. smacked a white. He was sound like two hours later though. Yeah. yeah he yeah. just went and had to yeah. lie down and came back out. Yeah, yeah. You do feel like when you're hitting white though, you're never gonna be sound world, again. Yeah. yeah. Like ever. Yeah. Like I remember the fate like like the, 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 I, the I told the story on him, the Green Room podcast with Tony and Jamie. Yeah. First time I ever hit white. Um like I, I, I was in tears and like, I, like I'd been, I'd be, I was going to some acting class back. I was, on, I was only about like fucking seventeen, eighteen. It was last week, you lying. And, and the, <laughs> and, and the bit, the bit I was seeing at the, at the time, um, 
she she was with me uh, about this whole like process, and I was in tears in the toilets in an acting class. And she was like, "Today, you're not gonna do today." And I was like, "You just put Ed Sheeran on." Swear to God, swear to God, don't pull that face. That makes me feel weird about it. No, I'm I'm just glad you got through it. You know I mean? <laughs> I'm not though, because I've got to live with the knowledge of knowing I said that. Do you know what people used to do in our school when people used to smoke a joint? They used to put them put them in the box, right? So what they do is they go leg it ladder. I'll put you in the box. And, the, and like when they're all stones box. and that. So what they do is they go, right, you're going in the box and they'll get a box and they'll put it over your head and as they put it over your head, everyone who sat there would be like... <laughs> That's fucking horrible, it's you know? Like he's actually in the box and he can't hear, hear people, but normally people are like, oh, shut up, you dickhead. But I watched this kid literally think he was going insane. He That's put him scary. on, he was going... He was going, boys, I can't hear you, fuck <laughs> off! He literally thought he was losing his head. <laughs> I, I was at Audible Cunts in college. I, me, and, me and Elliot, me and our mate Elliot, we used to, like, people who'd never... Because we, we were in like an acting college, so there was loads of people there who had been like very, like, sort of the mums and dads had like sheltered them a little bit and that, so they'd never smoked weed. So when we'd go out for a drink, they'd be like, oh, can, can we come with you? Yes, we'd be like, yeah, yeah. So people who'd never smoked weed before, we used to see how quickly we could make them hit white. Oh, <laughs> and it was the worst thing in the world. Lemo joints and everything, killing them. It was, it was, <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> smoking lemo was crap, lad. But yeah, and we, like, like, so I'd be this side, they'd be in the middle, and they'd be that side, and we'd walk them back to college, and in the peripheral vision every now and again, we just go <laughs> like that. Or we'd just be bored up. And then they'd say that and we'd just keep walking like it never happened. And we had to, we glad we done it to about seven or eight people over the course. Like, you know, probably scarred them for life. Yeah. Like, that probably like changed the course of their lives. Buy your own weed, that's you know that. <laughs> <laughs> like, at least bring skins with you, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, and it was one of my okay. favourite things. They'd look at the corner of the eye and then they'd look at you and you'd be like, I don't know what you're looking at. You're like, oh, not, 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 not. <laughs> you're like, couldn't you, man? It's advanced you know? level bullying, that, isn't it? <laughs> That's not just you fudging your cunts. It's just. Mental warfare, that. You gaslighting your classmates. Whenever <laughs> 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 you had a gaslighter with them, we had to bring everything. We provided everything from the skins to the weeds to the gaslighter. We had, we had uh, to get something back out of that. Like, like, you, 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 you can have a dream, but like. You, you'll need counselling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come with us by all means, but... Yeah, but you didn't tell them that. I know. That was because if you'd have told them, oh, by the way, after this drink, we're going to say and send you Scotty, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, fair enough. Know what I mean? Yeah, it would have ruined your game. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sorry for <laughs> pulling you up on it. Let <laughs> <laughs> me play the game. Uh, talking about our specials, though, what's been your favourite special? On the Patreon that mm-hmm. we... Yeah. On Have A Word? Yeah. Um, the roast, yeah, the roast of Adam and Dan was, that was um, silly though, wasn't it? I I, I didn't really fucking say. It. I think I said about two things all night. Um, Dan didn't say loads either, but it was so brutal. So we had did it like American style, where it's like the roast of Donald Trump or yeah, or, yeah, yeah, or yeah whatever. Central. Um, we had Finn Taylor, Mark Nelson, Brennan Reese, Ishan, Alfie Brown, Rommel Holland hosting, and Freddie Quinn. And they just, they roasted each other and us, and it was so bang out of all that. Like, the plan originally with the roast was to put it on the Patreon for a good few months and then go, we're yeah. going to put this one out publicly yeah, yeah, to yeah. show the non-Patreons what they're missing. Like, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. type of stuff. That's a good idea, that actually. But we... It was too <laughs> heavy. can't. Yeah, yeah that's like, it. That bad? We can't. Like, yeah. the, the jokes, like, like, we got complaints from the venue stuff. Really? Just yeah. Fuck off. Like, so, it was done in content where, yeah. like, they do bongos bingo yeah. and that. And we just said to Johnny, like, can we have the venue again? And he was like, yeah, no worries. Um, what are you doing? Like, we're doing a roast. He's like, oh, sick, sounds good. But you forget that, like... It's someone's business. No, it's not. That, like, jo- Johnny was worried about his staff and that, but... Like, I don't think Johnny was desperately offended. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know what I mean? I don't know. Like, maybe he was, but, like, we're, I'm still mates with him now. I've yeah. seen him a few times. He's been back on since. But, like... I don't think he would have been. I think... Yeah, I just don't want to speak for them. So, yeah. but like everyone who came and bought a ticket knew what they were coming for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me yeah. and Dan knew what we were signing up for. The comedians knew what they were signing up for. The staff that night just came to work. Yeah. yeah. So it was a complaint that we had to be like, do you know what? Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Like, I mean, it's not really our fault. If someone who bought a ticket complains, you'd be like, you fucking bought a ticket. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting yeah. Into. But like, one of the jokes, I can't tell the joke, first of all, because it's, it is brutal. Um, but I like there was, jo- there was a there was a joke mean, you know uh, that essentially was like about it wasn't laughing at the victims of it but it was about Grenfell oh okay I didn't and know one it. of the girls on who works on a bar was a black girl from London 
Uh, and she was like, I'm yeah, literally just at work and I've had to listen to a fucking yeah. gunpowder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you're like, yeah. do you know what? Fair enough, you've got... Yeah, the, yeah. At the, at the end of the day, like, you can't edit your content be just because the, there might be staffing that's going to yeah, be Yeah, yeah, don't know who's going to be there, so... And yeah. what, did anything happen on the back of that or, like, nothing really? We just had to, like... The, the way we found out was a bit grim, to be honest with you, so... Strip advisor complaints? <laughs> 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 no, like, someone made a dummy account on Twitter ah, and okay. messaged us... Mm. A screenshot of the email messages oh. from like the staff to each other going, uh, oh, like I I didn't really appreciate having to hear about this. They were like, oh, the staff are whinging about you or whatever. Okay. Like, and we were like, so I spoke to Johnny and was just like, what's this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was like, lad, he went, I've got to deal with it internally. You know, I've got me me venue managing and whatever. And mm. you know, yous were obviously never meant to see that. We're dealing with this. Like, someone was upset by the jokes. We understand that for you, like it was a normal show. Yeah. We probably won't do an event like this again at content. Okay. Which is fair enough, but yeah. we, you should never have seen that. Like, and we shouldn't. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. what was that it's one all of the staff, in it? it? Like, it's meant to be data protection. So. It wasn't like a staff WhatsApp group or anything like that. We just got a screenshot of someone saying, yeah. This happened at our work last night. These people are upset. Oh, so. oh yeah. Oh, and that's oh, hard because shit, it's, then, it's it? nice for you to, <laughs> to be aware of what's going on, but I just said it's a whole fucking thing that he's dealing with privately. You you should yeah, have yeah. seen yeah. it. Yeah. He handled it really well. I think he looked after the staff in the way that he needed to. And yeah. um, he, he was like, th- that type of event just obviously isn't right for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fair. Really. Do you know when you said before you're going to Nashville? Mm. Uh, what is it? Are you going there just for the holiday or are you going We're there? We're going to... with the whole podcast team. Yeah. Ah, that's podcast. sick. So I, I like country music, mate. I love country music. Do you like Brothers Osborne? What? Do you like Brothers Osborne? I don't know who that is. Brothers Osborne are unbelievable, yeah, you know. Luke on Combs them. is playing Nashville on the 15th of Fuck April. Off. So I got us tickets for that. Ah, that's sick. Who is Nash- it? Luke huh? Combs. Luke, Luke Combs. Combs. Yeah. And all the, all the podcast lads take the piss out of me, like, oh, shit, shit brand the music. I love He's country shit music, and whatever. So I was like, right, can we do a Patreon special where we go to Nashville and watch Luke Combs? We'll do like ah, a week. Be sick, so we've we've hired a house that we're all living in for a week. We'll film everything in the house. We're gonna go to like a rodeo, go to Dollywood. Fucking lens that's, it, channel, yeah. that's um, it. heavy though. I don't think Dan would have agreed to it if he'd have known what it was gonna cost. Yeah. Because it like <laughs> yeah. later that the like I, I went, can we do this? And him and Carl were like, Yeah, I suppose that'd be funny. And then I'd book the flights and the accommodation <laughs> <laughs> on the business it, account. And Dan gets a notification from the bank that we're with. And he was like, Adam, what's, what have you just spent like eight grand on? And I was like, oh, I've booked everyone's flights and accommodation for yeah, that. It's trip. all right, dogs. I'm going to have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> it will, it'll be the best thing we've done cause, because we're there for a week. It's so much. Our plan is it won't. So that's April. Normally, like we film it in April to go out in May. Yeah. I think it's going out in June or July. And we're doing because we normally do one special a month. Yeah. yeah, I think the plan with Nashville don't like if you're a half away page or whatever. Don't take this as confirmed. I think the plan is it, it'll go out once a week for a month. So we're gonna do a four In parter. Parts. Oh, That's sick. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that, what? Yeah. The first time you've done like a two parter was the restaurant special, wasn't it? And it threw me bad. Like my bed was like, why has it just ended there? And I went, it's gonna be a fucking second part. Like, and it. It, it had people fucking excited for us. It was a good change. It, it was. I'll be honest with you. The second episode of the restaurant, which I think was a lot better than the first one, has done like half the views of the really? first one. Because really? I think people were like, "Oh, is that it? Oh, I seen that. This will just be bonus footage." It was the second half of the shift. Yeah, it, like it was the more it was, interesting it was the fucking bit. food and everything. Yeah. So, I think we if we do it that way, where we release it over four weeks, and obviously we've got to see how much stuff happens. We've got to leave it yeah. on a cliffhanger and everything. Yeah. Like, we, but we've also got to be like. Next week, there's another episode. Yeah, 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 I yeah. don't think we let them we know about that as much yeah. as last time. Um, we're just going to make it interesting. And I want to see a Luke Holmes. will be sick, though, I'd, especially in Nashville. Did as you well. just see him, see him there and I'm going to Manchester. Did you see the one where he done it where fucking he was like nearly crying on stage because his voice had gone? I and feel he was, so left And he was like, yeah, listen, he went, I'm going to refund, I'm gonna <laughs> refund the everyone's show. ticket, but really? I'm still going to do the show and try my best. His voice had gone and he went like... This isn't what you've paid to see. Yeah, oh. went, I'm not going to ruin you. Like walk man. off. He went, but this isn't the show. So yeah, you just all get your dough back, and I'll still try now. Yeah, if if you're into yeah, if you're into your country music, um, bro, 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 Kelly Clarkson, <laughs> Brothers Osborne, Brothers Osborne, unbelievable. Lad. They've got some of that. Like they, they, they're probably my favourite country music. Artists. I'm going this Sunday. Oh my god, Gary looks like you. Yeah. I'll take that. Is Luke that Holmes? Him? Yeah, is that is that's that not a, him? That's an, 
<laughs> that is Luke Combs. Yeah, insult to Luke Combs. That in. <laughs> What else do you? I can see that. Though, you know, that's the type of thing where I feel like you've both got reason to be upset. <laughs> 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 I've got a compliment on either side. It's a backhanded one. You're fucking different. You both look like that. <laughs> is, no. Would there, would there be any songs I'd know? No. By no. Luke Combs. No. Is he? No. To, is he proper? No. But like he's. He's just doing stadiums all over the world. <laughs> yeah. But like, unless you know, you know. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah, okay. I'm going this Sunday to the O2 in London because they're doing, so they do a music festival called Country to Country. Yeah. And they do, you know the way they do Redden and Leeds? Yeah. And the lineup swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the Friday days, the Saturday days, yeah, yeah, and, the Saturday, yeah, and they swap it. Yeah. Is that so, what they do, is it? Did you not know that? With oh, Redden yeah. and Leeds. Redden and yeah. Leeds, yeah, they swap the lineup. Yeah. So what? whoever does the Saturday does the Sunday in Leeds. Okay. And whoever, and the other way around. That's it. So they do Country to Country in Dublin, Glasgow, and London. And it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday's line up in Dublin, does Saturday in Glasgow and Sunday. And, and they just, rotate it. Yeah, yeah. London, and they rotate That's it. That's good. So I'm going to the Zach Brown band of the headliners. <laughs> like, I fucking fried. love yeah. the Zach Brown. <laughs> Chicken fried. They're Tones, headlining man. in London on Sunday. Unbelievable yeah. tunes. That's um, sick. Yeah, yeah, heavy lad, yeah. And it's being promoted. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's promoted by the people who promote our Have A Weird Live shows. So I, I, ah. they box me four tickets. Oh, oh lad. Uh, Zach Brown band are fucking sick, aren't they? Them and Luke Combs are probably my two. It, for me, it's Zach Brown Band and Brothers Osborne, yeah. my two favourites. Like, they're fucking yeah. unbelievable. I'm dead excited. I'm going down with my missus, her best mate and her fella. Fuck him off, lad. I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Dolly Parton. It's going to be good. He wouldn't even be into it. Like, I don't Why know. Why do you want to stick my stick? I can only hear that. I'm like, I'm going to get after concert. I'm going to be on the stage. I'm put the stage over there and face the wall. The old show. It's just me. He's a load of feedback on his mic. Start sending WhatsApps complaining and sending them to the So is that like your go to then, country music? It is, it has become that, yeah. Yeah, because that, that was saying, my, my music taste so always like, yeah, like that 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 was yeah. and everything. Dan was saying was that last time pop. about you loving Bewitched yeah. and all that. Like what they, so I don't love Bewitched. Like it's tune, such a like, wild that's thing. That's just that's 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 when you were twatter yeah. drunk and they're playing cheesy 90s songs, yeah. you're just having a laugh. It's where all the students went. It was the easiest place to pull when you were single. Yeah. Like, it was the best place to go. Yeah. Like, not that, like, you're fucking absolutely into the music. It's just, like, no, it's yeah. funny. It's That's like, town. We, we, very we, like, the Raz. We, yeah. we used to go to the Raz. We used to go to the Raz. The exact same. Yeah. Every, every yeah. night out we'd go, we'd end up in the Raz at some point and then fucking stop the WKDs. Yeah, That's the thing, because yeah. in town, like, there's far too many bars where there's no beds. Yeah. Like, they're pretentious and people are fucking dickheads. Like, they like to pop well and all that. No one's asked. They're out. just there for a laugh, you know what I mean? So that's why. Go in there, take the bubble out. Did you get your free toast? Get your toast in. Yeah. Yeah, that's toast. I I woke up one morning because I used to like. It still happens occasionally now, but I used to be bad for blacking out. Just like, oh, I, okay. like I'd I'd wake up in my bed, but like the last three or four hours of the night just did not exist in my brain. <laughs> That's dangerous. That <laughs> like, 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 I've done stuff that I don't know. Like, I, the, do you reckon you've killed anyone? I think it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's some smackhead outside fifty four or something. <laughs> I reckon we have a word from another sponsor. Matty, what sponsor have we got, lad? We have Manscaped. Using WHB20 at checkout gets you 20% off all orders with free shipping. Now, what sort of products did they do, guys? Sort of pro- they've got loads of products, lad. With the lawnmower 4.0, fantastic razor, right? Helps reduce nicks on the ball bag. It's waterproof. It's got a light on it. You can get in. All your crevices on the big fat Ned Kelly and everything. And shave, it's sound. They've also got the weed whacker. Which Danny loves. It's a personal favourite for Danny. The weed whacker. The weed whacker. <laughs> you get right up your fucking nose like that. It made me come the other day, you know. I was on the weed whacker. <laughs> and I was pure, like... I got, like, population paste dribbling out of my foreskin and everything. That is such a nice sensation, you know. And you know what? While I had all population paste everywhere, I gave it a little clean. And I got the crop driver and the crop reserve out, lad. And fucking Wonderful. freshened it up. It was beautiful. What else do you offer, lads? And you also have the Beer Hedger Pro with titanium. Beard. You said beard. Beard the Beard Hedger new, Pro. The new product, the Beard oh. range that they're doing. It's got titanium blades and it also comes with oils and balms. So get in touch. <sighs> WHP20 at checkout. At manscaped.com. Bitches. I got fucking done over by the busies with a, a pop world. I'm pretty sure I've told this story on other way, but like it was a long time ago if I did. Like one of the nights where I did remember, like I got fucking... So I walked into the toilets in pop worlds the one time where I've ever like felt like in trouble there was me and just another lad in the toilet mm. and he just sort of showed me that he had something and he yeah. went give us your phone and your money 
Oh, okay. and I was just like, sound, yeah. not ass, yeah, not even yeah, arguing. Yeah, do you know I mean? Just fuck it. I'd have had it with him, me. <laughs> Would you like, yes? <laughs> I believe you as well. Yeah. He's, yeah. Like, he's yeah. a free stone, so I'm like, you're not fucking folding that far. And I, I walked. I walked, started walking home. I lived in West Derby at the time, so I walked like towards the Empire Theatre up London Road, and I'm walking like sort of in towards Kenny. Yeah, and I'm yeah. gonna go. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, you mean. And past the Grafton, and I'm sort of flagging like taxis going. Here's what's happened. Do you fancy giving us a free lift? I'm safe. My dad will give me the dough when I get yeah. in, and they're all just saying no. Yeah. In the end, the police pull up, and they're just like, "You're right. You're just walking through Kenny on your own." And I was like, "Here's what's happened." So they get, took me home, took a statement. Put the meter on as soon as you got in. <laughs> <laughs> a few days later, it's like you can't be the... lighting fires in the t- in the back of the car. Pop world will go up. <laughs> <laughs> a few days later, they set up at my dad's house, and my dad's my dad's like he's not like hates the police, but he's just we're he's had a not couple a of things there in the yeah. past where he's like that. Yeah, we need them, but they can be cunts. Yeah, you know what I mean, you overstep a little yeah. bit. So, my dad's sort of, like, smoking. Like, my dad's got, like, an open plan living room into what would be a dining area, but he hasn't got a dining table. He's just stood there smoking a ciggy, and the police come in. And, like, he's not just, like, a normal Bobby on the beat. He's, like, a... Not Shady. detective, but he's, like... He's, he's, he's one of the bit, bosses, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. He puts a load of photos out, and he's, like... Uh, so, uh, lucky thing is, uh, when you've left Pop World the other night, Adam, you've, you've walked past pretty much every CCTV camera in town. And I was, like... Great, mate, but I got robbed in the toilets of Popwell. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but we've had a look at the footage of the toilets in Popwell. And after you came out without your phone, no one comes out for a while. And it's just hard for us to believe it was that that happened in there. Um, we can't see anyone that's gone in that could have had your phone. I was like, have you fucking found them all and interviewed them? Everyone who went in the toilet Everyone and mouth yeah. was in Popwell. You, you're telling me. And he's like, well, look at these pictures. So he goes, here you are walking past this bit, St. George's Hall, the Empire. He goes, and then you get to CJ users and you've gone for a piss against this. Like there was, you know where there's like scaffolding, but like it's got like wooden boxes yeah. around the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? He's like, you're pissing against that, uh, which we're not going to do you for. And I was like, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> and he goes, nice. then, he, he goes then you check your pockets and you realise you've lost your phone and your money. And you start kicking fuck out of the... And it, there's pictures of me fucking volleying the wood, you know what I mean? And I was like, well, I'm very drunk, mate. And I think what's probably happened is I've forgot. Yeah, and then I've realised again. Yeah. Like, but... And I'm fuming. I'm fuming, like, with what's going on. And I've yeah. let someone take me fucking stuff off me. He goes, well, I don't believe that's what's happened. I believe uh, you've realised that you've lost your phone and your money, yeah. And that's where you've realised. And I was like, why would I have walked to TJ users from Pop World, you soft cunt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had I got in a fucking taxi? If I had to, oh, I'm here, the God What are you talking about? So he's like, well, this is what I think happened. So he goes, here's your options, Mr. Comedian. And he's obviously looked into me. Is that what he said? Right. Why is he trying to be an asshole? Nobody he goes, uh, he's I, could, I could look into this for a few days and I could find. And if I find who's took your phone and I could get your phone back if someone's yeah. uh, stolen it off you, you know, then you get your phone back again. But if I find out for sure that you're lying, you'll be prosecuted and you'll get a criminal time. record and then there's certain places you won't be able to go. And, I, and my dad just went, get out fuck it, tell him to fuck off, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it though, fucking right? Yeah. The, thing, fucking the thing fair. is, right, if you, it's because he fucking researched it and realised you were a comedian because... Or maybe he, I told him in the statements or whatever. He, he asked, wouldn't like, have done that with any fucking normal person. No. He wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Nah, no, but like, like this, day, I'm, this was like 2012, 13. Like, I, the, I, I'm no one at the time. No, but you're still in the public fucking... I, I reckon he's just caught you having a piss and just fumes over it. Yeah. I, I think he just... No, that's a power He couldn't that's be arsed looking into it properly. So he's yeah, like... too much, yeah, He's trying it. to like go, you didn't, you didn't get robbed, did you? And my dad told me to just go out, just sign and say, oh, yeah, that's, fuck off, that's innit, massively yeah. cock waving. He's coming to your fucking abode, your house, and he's gone, listen, I'm in fucking control here. I'm in power. These are the two scenarios. I think you're chatting shit and look how much power I've got because I can make you make a decision now. Yeah. That's all it is, just an yeah, ego it's boost. It's a head. And put that campfire out as well because this will go up there. <laughs> 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 I don't know. It's just fucking... Like, I, get, I get what you said. Like, like obviously, like, I know we need the police, but like... Not as much. No, <laughs> no, 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 they chill out a bit, lad. Like, why have you got a high vis on? You've got lights on your car. We know you're coming. <laughs> Relax, bro. <laughs> Get out me. Get out I'm, me living I, room, I ever told you the time when I got pulled by the busies and I was completely bollock home my car. What? Oh, lad, I no. Kex, right? that, I'd been fi- it was innocence. I'd been fishing, right? I was fishing in Prinny Park. Sounds fucking naked. innocence as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was fishing in Prinny Park. Make some more stream, man. He's diving after them. No, and I started packing down and the fucking heavens opened, right? So my bivvy was down and started raining, so I got fucking absolutely saturated. Got all my gear back to the car, 
loaded my boot and I, I was soaked head to toe. Didn't have any waterproof gear on or nothing. I had like fucking jersey kecks on. They were like ringed and wet and I was like... <laughs> I only live like fucking a seven minute drive from Prinny Park. If I sit on my car seat though, it's gonna be soaked. I was like, yeah. I'm just gonna strip off and drive on Balaho because the rain was coming Actual down. Actual dick out on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rain. Surely coming... that's public indecency though. Well, well, I was, well, in, my, I was in my car. car, exactly. But if but I the... pull up next to someone in my in my car next to a, a female who's in a car and I'm Balaho, yeah, but I'm she not can't done. see yeah. over like the but window. It, but if she just it depends what you. If you yeah, if you're wanking in the car, that's the problem. But it's not that you're naked. It's that you're wanking next to a woman. But surely if I'm what if, what if you're naked and you're scratching a scratch guard between your legs like that? What's going on? Well, then you'll probably, when it goes to court, you'll get found Sound innocent. Yeah. yeah. No, but me, me, me logic behind it was right. It was that torrential rain, like your window wipers, like that. You can't even see through the windows anyway. It was all steamed up and everything's before. I'll get home, I'll be sound. You're deaf all having a wank. Was it yeah, all steamed yeah, yeah, up as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. Like fucking Titanic, yeah. like rubbing me under the window. You're all having a tug in yeah. the car. Uh, and also, so, cool, I was at home just having a wank. I got to the top, of, the top of Lodge Lane and like Smith Down Road, the crossroads there. And this busy car just pulled up next to me and he just like looked at me and I was just doing me skins right and I, do you know what I mean? And he just went, tit out. Put the window down, he's like, why have you got your top off, lad? And then he just like leaned over and he was like, I've got your dick out, lad. And I was like, got wet, didn't I? And he's like, pull over, please, lad. So he pulled over and I was like, I can't get out of this car, you know? Like, I'm on fucking, <laughs> I can't get out. I'm, I'm bollocko. And he was like, I thought he was trying to get you as soon as you get out. Sex offender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna, and he was like, you've got 30 seconds to explain yourself. I was like, listen, I've been fishing, I'll be fishing gear there. I was like, I got soaked, thought, don't want to wet my seats and all that. He was like, just fucking get home, lad. And I was like, thanks, man. And then I got to ours and I was like, how am I getting from the car to the front door? So I bailed me man. I was like, Mum, come out with a towel, please, and throw through the window. And I fucking put the towel around myself and just got it in the house. Mum, you I... get naked as well, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be the only one. <laughs> nah, the, the only, I think the only running I've ever had, like me personally with the police, I, I was only about 18, 19. Like I hadn't really been going out drinking very long and I haven't been out that many times as well. And like I ju- I just gotten too bladdered. Like like you know that first few times you go out and you don't know what what you can handle or not. Yeah. So I'd just be seeing how much I could drink and how fast I could drink it and I was absolutely bladdered and I was with people who were used to be in college, not the college we were in, the one yeah, I was yeah. in before that. And I'd just gotten fucking like like to the point where I was walking around sobbing for like no reason. And they sat me down on a kid. You're an emotional kid, aren't you? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not anymore. I've toughened <laughs> up. I've toughened up a little bit. Um, He's a liar. He's so emotional. But like, 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 I just used to get bladdered and start crying. And for no reason either. Like, I, I just, all my emotions would just be very present. And I'd just be like, I just want to back. Like, honestly. Yeah. And then, and then, like. Fucking so gutter when Ed Sheeran drops in pop world <laughs> as well. I'm there, the corner going, I love Lego. <laughs> um, and fucking, so they've sat me down on this curb and I was just into it. They're like, why are you crying? I was like, oh, that's not ours. <laughs> I was like, I'm, 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 they're like, you're upset, you're happy, and I was like, I don't know, and these two busies have come past on horses, and they've stopped them being like, like, is he alright? And I was like, ah, ah. and I was like, can I stroke the horse? <laughs> and they were like, no, you can't, and I was like, ah, just let me stroke the horse, and then I was like, wait there, and they were like, what are you, and I was like, I've got any polos or something for the horse, and then obviously never had a fucking, because why would they have polos on me? Yeah. So I've burst out crying again. <laughs> And he'd be like, has he got his phone on him? And I, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I've not been to Poppy. I've got my phone, I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then he'd be like, right, they were like, unlock your phone. And then this busy had to bail me out, fella. At like, I think it was like half three, three o'clock in the morning, something daft like that. And being like, look, like we'd put him in a taxi, but like, we don't think he'll get home, okay? They were like, like, they were like, we're watching it. And I was like, Daddy. And they were like, like look, we, we, one of us will wait here with them. They were like, you're going to have... you a fucking little take on the back of the horse. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy coming home on his horse. But they were like, you're going to have to come and get him. So this busy, he's like, just being sat on a horse. I'm sat on the curb next to him. <laughs> Every five minutes, he's like, don't touch the horse. Really like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, did, you weren't going to make it home if they put you in a taxi? Lad, listen, I was, like, I, I, I was crying. Dehydrated. I died Lad, from dehydration. Honestly, I, I was just, I was sobbing uncontrollably for like no reason. And then my half fellas picked me up and I mean, like, I'm so oh, sorry. And, the, and, and and he was like, were you... T- You'd have been fine in a taxi. What are you I, Lad, I wasn't fine with, with five of my mates. I don't reckon I'd have been fine <laughs> on my own in a, in, in a car with a stranger, you know. Taxi is like... Especially Scouse Taxi. I was just a story that, you know, Alfie Brown. Yeah. So Alfie's got this story he's told a couple of times with me. We were in Pop World, twatted, right? And he goes to the toilet and comes, he's staying in mine when I lived in yeah. West Derby. And he comes back out to the toilet and there's like a few people who'd been asking us for pictures and that yeah. and whatever. And he goes, Where's Adam? And he goes, Oh, he's just being kicked out. Um, he starts having a piss into the jug. 
<laughs> saying he couldn't be, he couldn't face the stairs. He so had they... flashbacks of his phone getting taken. <laughs> <in the toilet. laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going. It's your Vietnam, not it. Uh, so Alfie said he comes outside and I'm pissing again against the garage opposite Pop World on the yeah. right and he says I turn around and he says you know like cat's eyes on the motorway and you, like it shines yeah. on it he's like a, ca- a bus went past and the lights hit your eyes and they're just like there's Adam over there <laughs> so I went over to him and you were ju- you're just gone like I, my mates say I've got like a light switch I go from like being there to not people are like oh my god Adam's had like 16 pints of Guinness and it's, like, I feel like he could drive like he's <laughs> Perfectly coherent, he's capable, fucking, yeah. he's having an intelligent conversation. Oh, he sticks out, his dick is out. <laughs> like, it just goes, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I can't talk, it's like, you'll, you'll talk to me and I'll just look at you. Like, yeah. I've got, and it's all going into Imagine me. Imagine getting I've, to that point when Pop will bring the toast out, you must think you've had a stroke. <laughs> just smelling <laughs> so good. <laughs> so 100%. Um, so we, Alfie goes, well, we've got to get home. And yeah. I'm just going, <laughs> <laughs> right? You Alfie's proper like, look like Johnny Vegas when you took that. <laughs> that was horrifying. Like, that was like, you, your face transformed for a second, then please don't do that again. <laughs> so Alfie's like, you need to tell me where we live. Like, I don't know where. Yeah. Oh, because he's staying in yours, isn't he? And I'd picked him up from the station, so it's not like I'd gone, this is me address, get yeah. to ours. Like, That's he fun. doesn't know where... So he's like, he goes, where do we fucking live? And I go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, fuck it. I'll just get a taxi and try and sort of like get it out of other months. we going to taxi. Yeah. School. Gets me in a black cab and the fella goes, you all right, lads? You had a bit much, has he? Had a bit much, yeah? Yeah, yeah. No, he'll be all right, lad. But if he does need to be sick, like just, you know, I'll stop. And yeah. he's being like the sound, the taxi driver in yeah. the world. And he goes, where are we going anyway? And Alfie goes, eh, I'll just ask him one more time. So I go, and the driver goes, come on, lad, where are we going? And apparently I went, <laughs> get angry with him. And the driver goes, okay, no worries, and just starts driving. Yeah. And Alfie, like, I, I obviously got no memory of the story. Yeah. I've, this is my second hand recount of Alfie's story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Alfie's just like, well, there's absolutely not a chance in hell that that taxi driver has just understood what he said. Yeah. yeah. There's no, there's no way that this driver is just like, he's just, yeah. just said, yeah. no, he's <laughs> <laughs> and the driver's gone, yeah, no worries. And starts driving. <laughs> and then 20 minutes later, pound, <laughs> 20 minutes later, we pulled up outside my house and Alfie was just like, I don't know what, that happened? what noise you made <laughs> that this taxi driver was Understood. like, Oh, you're at Avenue. <laughs> 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 Talking in tongues, that that's sick, you know. <laughs> that's sick. I, I, I remember getting in, in, in the taxi with him. I, I was I was going home, but I was on my own in this taxi. And I went through this phase where like I was obsessed with this this Australian band called Ocean Alley. Like they'd all, all I'd listen to, whether I just woke up, I was going to bed, I was just listening to them. And I was on my way home in this taxi going, going home from town. And I was absolutely fucked. And this taxi driver barely spoke English as well. And I was like, have you got an aux? And he was like, what? And I was like, 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 like. Or like music for that, and he was like, "Oh yes, yeah. so he's passed me an orcs lead through," and I'd be like, "Have you ever heard of Ocean Alley?" <laughs> and he was like, "Yes," <laughs> and I was like, "Oh man, you're on to this one." And I was like, "This one's like, this one's so he's going, "Yes," and I was just like, "I was like, what about this one?" And I've, I've got the one for some reason. Like, if you're if you're in your own in a taxi, you don't get in the front, do you? No, you don't get in the front. I'm no. next to him in the car, going, "What album are we?" And he's going, "Yes." And I was like, "Well, I'm not about this one, bro." And he put, we got on time. I was like, "Lad, you're sick, you know." Like, you keep the change, lads. Here, like, he said, "This fucking." He he'd never just, heard a single word of yeah, that song, no. he? He probably didn't. He like, like he was just sitting there. And he was like, ah, "Yes." Okay. I was like, "Yes." I was like, "Yes." But lad, honestly, that he was the sack because I was tearing it up and everything. I was going, "This bit's good." Tearing, tearing it back down. And going, I never listened to this bit. And then it was, the, it was to be in the worst twenty minutes of his fucking life. You know, because like, like I'm one Gotta of them. Do anything for the tip, lad. Honestly, yeah. lad, like I'm one of them. Like, like, like when I've had the bevy, like I'm, I've never been like an angry, like drunk or not like that. I'm always just like, I talk the ear off fucking anyone and like. Like for twe- I think I said the most words I've ever said within that twenty minutes. You know, while I was trying to get him to listen to a tune, <laughs> and I'm chatting shit about. I'm like, well, they, they, they recorded this song because the fellow who wrote it's sister, and I'm going, I literally didn't listen to this bit. He's like, yes, just <laughs> yes. trying to be old man. It was fucking heavy, you know. Taxi drivers must hear some shit. Like yeah, that. They, they must hear the most bollocks yeah. ever. So, pipeline. What have you got? What have you got installed? A fucking heavy left. Man. It was. It was. Well, but um, we need to get back on track. Yeah, come on. Tour goes on sale. This goes out on Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Thursday next week. The 16th. Yeah, if that's the that's Thursday. That's seven days from today. Early yeah. access on Tuesday. 
Oh yeah, so it'll be on Patreon Tuesday. Well, but so it go, the the tour goes on general sale on Friday, mm -hmm. yeah, which is Tomorrow. called What's Wrong with Me, and that's the name of the tour. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna answer them, but gotta clear that up. To start with, you shave your armpits. <laughs> but if I didn't shave my armpits, they'd be coming out me jacket. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've got his jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like um, Mighty Joe Young. <laughs> it's a uh, <laughs> it's weird that that's your go-to girl I've got weird go-to You know what I mean It's not King that. Kong Mighty yeah. Joe Young No I respect it It's more niche You know what I mean It's better for comedy uh, <laughs> um, Proper bigger venues And not this time Like yeah, quite scary How big this Is I, this your biggest one Do you reckon you've done It like The last tour I think we did 79 shows By the end of it Okay And they were sm Like 200 to 500 seat venues Liverpool's bigger Yeah but like we're doing the Manchester Apollo, it's nearly three thousand. So it, that's it. So it's less dates, but bigger venues. No, it's not less dates. Oh, it's <laughs> more, <laughs> more dates, yeah. bigger venues. Like, oh, it's, more destinations. So like last year mm. we did seven Frog and Buckets on the tour. Right. Okay. This year we're doing the Manchester Apollo, and yeah. obviously if if that was to sell out, which it won't, yeah. Or like you know it'd be a miracle if it does. Then maybe we'd look at adding something else or yeah. another one or whatever. How many see, how many capacities the Apollo? It's nearly three thousand. It's two thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight. Oh, I think. Um, Mad, I reckon you could do watching. it though. I reckon I definitely the north, it, it's the northwest, isn't it? I reckon he's. I, I reckon you're easy to well, pull. We'll, well, seven frog and buckets is like seventeen fifty. Yeah. So it's another thousand, and you'd like to think yeah. well, you, you'd you'd probably out. get a lot and of with people. Frog, frog and buckets all sell out as well. Yeah. But, oh, think, yeah. but the yeah. thing is as well, like people from the likes of Liverpool know that who miss out on your Liverpool date. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, only yeah. money. And, and on top of that, so the Liverpool date's not till March next year. Yeah. So people got to wait around for ages. So like there'll be there'll be scousers who go, oh, I'll just go to Manchester yeah, yeah, night yeah. out rather than wait till that. Um, that goes on sale there. Have a word. Just got fucking shitloads coming up. Yeah. Um. Oh, you're doing a tour with the podcast, aren't you? Yeah, we are, because people just kept asking for it. Yeah, that's fair And, enough. like, we, we always said we wouldn't do it, because... Do you know what it is? We, 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 know, we know when we've done a good one, and we know when we've done an all right one, and yeah. we know when we've done a shit one. Yeah. You can tell once you've recorded that you just like, know. We just know where the level was, and whenever we do too many episodes in a week... You feel a flat one. The, the, what, the third one is... The fourth one is shit, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it, it's not shit, it's just not as good as the first yeah, yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Now, if we were to do a tour, like the tour I'm about to do is four, between three and five dates a week mm. for six months. That's a long tour. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you're going to do a podcast or anything like that, it would yeah. be shit. Yeah. It yeah. would be, because yeah. it's like it's written, it's, all, it's like this, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You, yeah. you just see where the conversation yeah. goes. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't work, so... Dan was like, yeah, let's not do it. And then initially, what we were going to do is a stand-up tour. Okay. So we were going to do, we'd get like four guests, me and Dan either host it together or host one half each mm -hmm. yeah. and bring two guests on in each half and do the Haverweird stand-up shows. Because me and Dan are both touring at the end of the year, yeah. I've just put two specials out. Dan's just put one out. Yeah. Neither of us have got any stuff at the minute. Yeah. Like, we're working it all up. How many plates can you fucking spin? Like, it's not even just that. Like, how can we do a podcast tour first half of the year where we both come up with 20 minutes of new material yeah. and then write another full hour to tour with yeah. Yeah. so we were like it's all about goes back to quantity over quality don't it fucking uh, quality over quantity so we were like the, the way to do it is me and Dan probably go on at the start do a bit of crowd work both of us on stage together yeah. I think this is the plan and then we'll have one or two guests who are going to join us for the podcast in the second half yeah. we'll get them to do stand up and then you're not being not on. We're not being not on. Yeah. The, the fans are getting the podcast tour that they've wanted. Yeah, but we're only doing four dates, so we're doing a the fifth ones. The first day actually is London. Yeah, that is a stand up show because it was booked as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other four: Glasgow, Newcastle, Birmingham, and Dublin are podcast shows. Okay. Okay. and it just means that. Like if you're an Irish fan, you're just gonna have to fucking come to Dublin. We're yeah. coming to Ireland so you can get on a train. Yeah, yeah, to be yeah, fair, yeah, yeah. like yeah, in Dublin, like anywhere is fucking two hours away. Yeah. Yeah. Gla yeah. Like Glasgow, if you're uh, Edinburgh or Aberdeen or Dundee, Soz, you just gotta meet us there. Like, yeah, yeah. I I'll I'll probably end up going I think I will end up doing Aberdeen yeah. on my tour. I'll probably end up I, I don't think I've added Dundee yet. But yeah. like if it goes mad then we'll add more stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but the podcast ones it was just let's pick. The because to be years. honest with you, yeah, the the plan we haven't even revealed this on the podcast yet, but the plan is to do a big Liverpool show yeah. towards the end of the year as well. Okay, we don't quite know where that's going to be yet; it's not yeah. confirmed. But 
like we probably should have done a Manchester podcast show, mm-hmm. but it, there's going to be one in Liverpool. So yeah, we'll come to the big enough yeah, get yeah. the train yeah. in yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? Names. Like, <clears throat> well, when you done the the live one in Liverpool, there was like the videos before the 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 gig started when you were interviewing fans and all that. There's so many out of towners, and when you asked yeah. the crowd. How many people are from out of town? How many people from here? There was loads of people who weren't from yeah, Liverpool, yeah. so people will travel. Yeah, yeah they will. I think we benefited last year because like that was the only one. So I think a lot of people this year will go Pick where they to go Birmingham to. and go, well, I've seen it this year. Yeah. But at the same time, they want to be part of the big events as well. Like yeah. if, if we were to do the arena again or somewhere else, they're gonna they're gonna wanna be there because they've seen how much effort we put into that one. And yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Time for another wave from another one of the sponsors. This time it's T Trades, Bobby. What does tea trades offer? Well, what doesn't tea trades offer is probably the better question. Tea trades. Tea trades offers live courses on uh, trading with cryptocurrency. Shorto offers crypto guides, uh, stock market guides, understanding debt guides, and financial freedom guides. Also, if you want to invest with Tyler, please head over to t-trades.com. All the information will be on the website. Link to it down below in the description. We love you. So I wanted to ask you about the new special as well, because I, I watched it. Can I just ask a question about tours? Yeah, quick, go for before it. Before we jump on, because I want to talk about the special. How does it work, like, financially and logisti- logistically? Do you have to front all the money for all these venues, or do you have a deal going, I know I can sell this many tickets? How does it work with a tour that big? Um, so it, it sort of depends on the venue. It depends on... If you work with a promoter, it's the promoter's job to cover any... Higher fees. Okay. Because then it's them putting the money down. They've got to do their job of promoting it to make sure they get it back. Um, it comes off the profit before you split the profit. So, uh, right, I'll try and answer it better than that. Most most venues, the promoter will go to them and go, I've got Adam Rowe. Last year he did 79 dates. 78 of them sold out. Fuck the Isle of Man. <laughs> uh, he's got beef with the Isle of Man <laughs> Funnily enough I agree with you He's got beef with the Isle of Man I've just got an ex-bay from there and, and, and I want the It was a weird place And like the, the, the fellow last year Was like yeah I've got a thousand seat theatre I was like yeah That's not going to sell me It's just not That's yeah. too big for me on the Isle of Man There's only 28 people there lads. <laughs> <laughs> like, It's too big for me on the Isle of Man On a Tuesday And he was yeah. like no no It'll be Sam Paul Smith Sold it out twice I was like yeah Paul's bigger than me He's bigger than me And uh, he did a Saturday didn't he So yeah. it's different to and he's like, no, 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 tell you this will sell out. It's like 450 people on a Tuesday, and he was like, I can't, I don't even know what we can say. I was like, I told you this would have been great yeah. if you'd have given me the fucking venue. I told you uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm getting off subject. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Isle of Man. Your promoter will go right. I've got Adam Rowe. I'm promoting him this yeah. year. He did 79 dates last year. 78 sold out uh, in Birmingham. He did a thousand tickets. So your theatre, you know, is 1,200 seats. We're pretty confident it'll sell out. You know, we can't guarantee it, but, like, this is who... And the town... So I'm doing Birmingham Town Hall. Yeah. They'll go, all right, Sam, sounds good. Um, we, we'll have them on a 70-30 split. So we get 30, Adam gets 70. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the promoter will go, well, I know for a fact you had this guy in last week and he didn't sell it out and you had him on 70-30. You'll make more having Adam... On eighty twenty, yeah, than you would have in it. So they do a bit again. of the negotiating for yeah. you, don't they? The them. So they try and get it down to between ninety ten to eighty twenty. Some some places are, you know, they're so in demand. They're like, no, we, yeah. we want seventy five twenty five. We want yeah. seventy thirty. Depends on the theatre. Depends how many people want to play that venue. How busy their schedule is. How big it is. How and they they sort of come to it. Sometimes a venue will go. Well, how about this then? We'll give you eighty twenty, but we you, we want you to guarantee us. Two grand. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Whatever. Um, I've heard a few venues will go like it's either a fixed higher fee or it's a split depending on what's higher. Well, I'll, yeah. So it, it's normally, yeah, it's, it that that's normally yeah. how a really big one will do it. Yeah. But then you're only really putting a really big one in if you know it's going to sell anyway. Yeah, so yeah. It, it becomes hard. So you're always yeah. getting different prices for different theatres. So one, you could be getting... 70 30, then that one you'll be getting 80 20, and then that one you get 90 10. Yeah, it, it just it depends on the the theater, the promoter, the, the act. Like, yeah. it's there's so many variables in it. Yeah, yeah. And then you agree with your promoter a budget yeah. for advertising, travel. So, with this tour coming up, my, my promoters either said you can either hire a car for every day, yeah, or the tour Buys will hire your car off you. Oh, sound. So you could go to 
you know, Enterprise yeah. and go right. Like I drive a, a Range Rover. Yeah. So we they he'd go to Enterprise and go, how much for the Range Rover on all these days? And they might go two hundred quid a day, two two fifty. Yeah. He goes, we can give that to Enterprise, but if you want, we we'll give that to you oh, because yeah, yeah, you put yeah, a miles on your car, yeah, you yeah, get miles in your car, right? So you you budget for travel, which is hire cars, petrol, and hotels, yeah. and trains if you get in a train somewhere or flights or whatever that is. You budget advertising per show, yeah. and that doesn't really change. It it does change, but if you're doing sixty dates and your advertising budget is a hundred and fifty quid a show, then you, your advertising budget's nine grand. But you're probably going to spend more promoting the Empire than yeah. you will fucking yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah Warrington yeah. Park Hall. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's smaller. Um, then what you do is you get all the money at the end of the tour. So let's just say, for argument's sake, it's been a hundred grand. Yeah, all the expenses come off. All the uh, all the expenses come off. The tour support comes off. You know all the the food that you've had on on tour that gets put yeah. in as a cost. All your travel and all that, and then your promoter as a general thing takes twenty percent. Yeah, that comes down if you start going into arenas. Yeah, because. They'll make more off an arena at twelve percent than they will off a theatre at twenty. Yeah, Uh, and once that comes off, you get it. If you want a rough calculation of how much a comedian is earning, it's normally ticket price times the size of the venue divided by three. Okay. So if you're in a seven thousand seater at seven thousand, if you're in a thousand seater at twenty twenty one quid, yeah, twenty one grand of revenue, the comedian's probably pocketing seven. seven grand. After the venue and, every, and everything else. It's not a bad night, though, is it? You know what I mean? No, it, it, it's good, but obviously, like, it, it's very rare any comedian ever gets to the point where they're selling a thousand tickets. Yeah. Like, it's... You've be, got... Because, like, most it's people... such a saturated fucking market, you've got to be head and shoulders, haven't you, to be able to put... It, it's a saturated things. market, but I think because most people's experience of comedians, up until a few years ago when... Hot Water, you know, did massive stuff for Northwest yeah. Comedy and comedy in general. And then this podcast boom that's happening. Yeah. Most people just thought the only comedians in the world were the ones who played a thousand seasons in a book. Yeah, 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 they yeah, all yeah. just thought it was just Jason Manford and Jimmy Carr and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the reality is, that is the 1% of yeah. comedy. Yeah. 99% of people either never get paid, only get paid 100 quid a gig, only do the circuit, only headline. Even, there's people who've been headlining a circuit for thirty years. They've never been able to sell twenty tickets. Yeah, yeah. selling yeah. a thousand tickets. It's the crazy, work yeah. you've got to put in yeah, and the ability that. you've got to have, both as a comic, a promote promoting yourself mm. is in in the modern age. Like people used to sneer at that. When I started comedy, if you were promoting on Twitter or Facebook, I'm doing gigs this week. Other comedians would be like, "Who's asked?" Yeah. Well. The people well, who are the buying tickets, but, that's, a, but that's the thing. You're a brand now. You've got to push yourself as a brand. That's, that's exactly simple as that. So that that is the anomaly. But yeah, they're, they're normally getting about a third ish. That's nah, that's not. I mean, to be fair, though, if, 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 as you say, if you're making twenty one grand in, in the night on a theatre, a third of that for a night to work is fucking sad. It is, but then there's also part here that goes. Where's the rest? You know, two thirds of the yeah your audience's money doesn't go to you. Yeah, mm, that's true. That's true. What I wanted to ask you about the special, because uh, I, I watched it, I think, the afternoon that I came out, I was in ours, so I stuck it on. Um, You're talking about Juicy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they were sick. I enjoyed it. Uh, like, and, and I know you said you made the story up. Yeah. But did you make the story up or dramatise a, a, a true story? Okay, so I've got... Wait, can we explain the story first? So... If, if, so if you haven't seen Juicy, Juicy is a fictional story okay. that is about a breakup. Okay. So I tell the story of me going through a breakup, yeah. but it's fictional. Yeah. So I'm talking about something that happened to me where an ex girlfriend yeah. stole from me. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's the story. Okay. So I have got to answer Danny's question okay. with the following sentence. Okay. I've got to. Because I know you went through, was it last year when you, you, you and your ex beard split up, when it was the year before that? So this story isn't about that breakup. Okay. But it is about a breakup. I've got to answer this question in this okay. way. Okay, go on. Okay. Libel. So, Juicy is a fictional story. Mm-hmm. But as with all stories and any artist takes inspiration from real life They're events. Like, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been through a breakup before mm-hmm. where a girl stole from me. That's heavy, that. And... 
Juicy was inspired by that, but Juicy is not a totally accurate yeah, yeah, depiction. Yeah, yeah. And the girl I was with at the time isn't to be held responsible for anything that I say Roxy did in Juicy. Right, okay. That's <laughs> probably the perfect way yeah. to answer that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was such a well rounded answer. Is that what your lawyers told you to say, like? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Twisty Wolf was told us to say it. <laughs> but, um, special, right? One of the most unbelievable pieces of fucking artwork I've ever seen in my life. Like, and I'm not just saying that you're on the couch. Like, me and my bird watched it, and we were just like, what the fuck just happened? No, it was, it was like, really well done. I've been a fan of, of you for years, and it was just such a different fucking it's, standpoint. It's it was been, mad. It it's was been mad. quite overwhelming, to be honest with you. So I put that out on the 24th of uh, Feb, and I went on holiday on the 25th. That, that was when I went to Brussels. Yeah, yeah. Um, Had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> and... I promised, like, me missus now, like, I wouldn't be on my phone the whole yeah. week. Because, like, I'm a workaholic, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, And I was like, I promise I won't. But every time she, like, went to the toilet or the bar or whatever, check, yeah. I'm just checking it. And, like, I've put content out for years. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've always put clips out. And then I put Club Comic, my first special out during the pandemic, and got the podcast. And in January this year, I put a special out called Imperius, which was my last tour. I dropped two specials in two months. I've had reactions to content before. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. Like, what I've had in the past is I've had a lot of tweets and I'll get, like, the odd Instagram story of someone going, just watch Adam Rose Imperius, dead funny, get yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah. Right? I'll get a tweet. I'll get the odd DM along the same lines. I made an estimate to Dan and Carl. I said, I reckon, when I put Imperius out, which has done, you know, 175,000 views. Yeah. It's, it's done so more views than Juicy so far. Yeah. But as had, you know, six weeks a head start. Uh, yeah. I reckon I have between 500 and 1,000 messages about Imperius. Yeah. It's at least 5,000 with Juicy. Really? And yeah. I right. might be getting towards 10. I don't know because I haven't. You can't. can't I've, 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 I've looked at most of them now. Yeah. But they're not one sentence. Yeah. They, yeah. These aren't yeah. just, just watch Juicy Dad like this. Yeah, There's yeah. a couple of them. Yeah. Most of them are like, it fills your phone screen. Yeah. Okay. And it's people going, it's like, I'm not trying to blow me on Trump because I, I, like, I feel like I don't have to with this. Like, it's what you've just said. People are going, I can't believe what I'm watching. I can't believe how it's, different it is to. It's because Imperius is Adam Rowe, the comedian. Juicy is Adam Rowe, the human being. Yeah. That's, it, it, that's the difference. There's still fucking comedy in it because you're a comedian. But it, you just laid everything fucking bare. It was mad. It was mad. It was mad. It, it's it's really um. It's different. To Alfie any Brown old, directed old it, and he had such an influence on Alfie's it. And he's so talented. He he, he was he, he's like one of my best mates, and he's he's such a good comic himself. I couldn't believe how useful he was with this, and how brutal he was willing to be. Like I would come off stage, like like after doing like a work in progress of it, mm. and I'd be like, "Sick that!" And Alfie goes, "Good that one, eh? Yeah." He did hundred and twelve things wrong, and here's what they were. And he'd just take me through need, every wow. that, that is what every need. sentence. Wow. Like you took a breath here, you don't normally take a breath there, so don't do that. You need to roll into that sentence. Uh, this bit you said this way tonight. Why did you do that way? Oh, that was just a mistake. Don't do that again. Change it back to the other way. Wow. Uh, this or oh, like this bit. You added that line in. Where the fuck did that come from? Keep that. Definitely do that again. Yeah. Oh, that bit of crowd work you did when we filmed the special. Uh, pretend that happens, even if it doesn't. So <laughs> I'll give you a little thing. Go ahead. In, in <laughs> juicy. In in the special. There's a moment where I talk to a woman in the audience. Mm -hmm. Is it the Roxy so, bit? And she hasn't even said that. Yeah, yeah. Right? So when I, in Juicy, I go and see Chicago. Yeah. And a woman in the audience, I, I, I go, oh, I forget the lead character's name. Yeah. And a woman in the audience goes, oh, my God, I think it was Roxy. And I go, is it? Yeah. You think that I, do you, know, you think I would have remembered that? And does that curtain look like a juicy tracky as well? It's mad the way. Like the <laughs> what had happened was in the first show, so we recorded it four times, and yeah. it was actually the fourth one we ended up using. In the first one, a woman actually did that. Okay. And Alfie went, I don't care if no happen. one does it. Yeah. N people at the front aren't gonna know no, that no. someone at the back definitely didn't. No one said that. <laughs> and and no, certainly no one watching at home, yeah. and we're, we're making a film here. He yeah. went so. That was so funny. Yeah. You've got to just pretend so, that someone said it. So what? But what did happen in the fourth one is someone did go to their mate 
So I didn't hear it, but yeah, I, I just went, I'm just attributing that to you yeah, rather than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alfie was unbelievable. And the first time Alfie seen it, Alfie was like, this is you in a new light, but it's also a new style of comedy. And the I found the reaction impossible to ignore. So my plan, I've done two Q&As about Juicy now. And this, you know, I suppose this in a way is a third one. Yeah. Um, we did we did a cinema screening of it and Alfie did a Q&A afterwards, but the footage was so bad because of the room. Yeah, yeah, lighting and everything. We, we couldn't use it. Yeah. So I've done one and we're putting it, it's already out now um, on the Haveaway Patreon where we just sat in the studio and Dan asked me similar questions to what Alfie did. And one of my answers has changed between those two things because when we did the cinema screening, it hadn't gone out yet. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I didn't yeah, see yeah. the reaction. The question that I've changed my answer to is, will I do something... Similar. Like, similar again, and will that change my style of comedy? My answer it's at hard the, not to. the first screening was, I don't think so, because I would have to have a story happen to me where I feel like it needs that kind of yeah. cadence and delivery. Yeah. yeah. The reaction has been, we want, like, there's people going, we, I want to see you do more stuff like this. I don't want to completely move into doing specials that just look and sound like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also think it would be a bit weird to... one dimensional as well. Um, But I think there's a... I don't think it's necessarily been done before, but I think there's a way to do an hour of comedy where the first 35, 40 minutes... Is that? ...are like, no, are, are like imperious. Yeah. And you end with a half, 20 minute, half hour story that is tied to the first half yeah. of, like well, Jim Jeffrey's done a very similar sort of thing with, um, you know, one of his older specials, Alcoholic. He's doing our podcast tomorrow. Fuck off. Yeah. Lad, let me come down and meet him. He's going to be famous. <laughs> like, he's like, I love uh, him I'll so see. Much. He, he's bringing security in that, so he I don't know whether he's over him all Lad, the time. He's one of my favourite comedians. Yeah. He's, he's the reason Vicky passes his episodes, not going out. Because he's yeah. doing tomorrow when his, his oh, publicist has demanded it goes out straight yeah. away. Yeah. I love Jim. Jim. Look, if there's even a chance, I'll just come down and say hello. Let there's me know. Let him come down and smell the cherry. <laughs> like, 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 if you can take one of his hairs on the slide, <laughs> put it in a little clip. Just give me a, 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 a mushroom. Well, he's he's honestly, that he's one of my fucking... He's probably within my top three favourite comedians ever, lad. You'll see him just hanging around outside your studio. I'll bump into you outside yours. You know where the studio is, man. I'm trying to guess what time. We're in town tomorrow morning for a, a meeting over the studio. Well, I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Jim I said I'll see you there. No, I love him, man. He's honestly one of me fucking favorite. I've never met him. He's met downloads, but um, yeah, it, we're, he's not doing any UK press apart from us. He, we're his only UK. And meeting me. Yeah, of <laughs> yeah. Yeah, course. Cool. But no, I, I just, like, he's... You know. He's one of the he's one of the comedians that when I used to watch him when I was like 12, 13, 14, yeah. I'd be like, that that was why I wanted to, to start doing stand up comedy in the first place, because of people like him. And like one thing I wanted to ask you about as well, because like you've you've worked like really closely with, with Bill Bear, who's who is my favourite comedian of all time. In my opinion, he's 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 the best comedian that's ever done it. Like especially because you, you supported him when he was, he comes to the UK and done a few dates when he recorded the Paper Tiger special, didn't you? Yeah. I think that's probably, in my opinion anyway, that's that's the best written and best performed comedy special I've ever seen. I don't think it's Bill Bear's best one, but that's fair enough. Do you know? I think I think it's good. I think it's one of his best ones. I think his best one is Let It Go. Let It Go is brilliant. Is that the one where he's still, with Dana, I think he's still got hair in Let It Go, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, but like, I. Like, she wiped her face with the bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with <lad>. the bag. <laughs> yeah, 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 lad. Not even like a gentleman. <laughs> That's let it go. <laughs> yeah, that was a good question. <laughs> yeah, but like, like, I, I wanted, I wanted to ask you as well, because like, like, like. But Bill Bay is my favourite comedian ever. Like, I think he's the best comedian that's ever fucking done it. He's just, it's it, like, it's his, it, it's his perspective on stuff. It's like, it's like, it's what they I mean. You, you, you watch how he speaks about things, and I'm like, how do you even, how do you even get to that perspective type of thing? I, I think what he's great at, which I am trying to get better at myself, is he is really good at making you laugh at an opinion he's got that you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. A lot of comedians are quite preachy when they're opinionated. Um, yeah, they're always. I, act I actually people. think sometimes, and I, I'm a fan of Jim Jeffries, but I think some of his bits go like that, where he's it's like he's telling you how you should think, yeah. especially when he's, in his earlier stuff when he's speaking about like religion and that. It's like he's very much. It does feel like he's trying to he's trying to educate you on it rather than just saying this is what I think. What you reckon? He's and like, Bill Bird d does that a couple of times himself as well. Yeah, yeah. But what Bill is good at, I think, is he's not going, you should think this. Yeah. He's saying, I think this yeah. isn't that funny. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? Yeah, he's it's, trying it, to pass it he's off. Not, like he's not trying to win it. you over. He's just going, I'm, I know I'm a fucking lunatic. Yeah. And it is the thing. Yeah. And you, you'll you laugh at him convincing you. Yeah, you'll laugh at him not convincing you. Yeah. yeah. And you'll laugh at him just being like, well, if you're just indifferent and didn't go either way. Yeah. yeah. Like, he, he he's really good at just, you know... Ah, here's what I think. Yeah. And like, even if you're, you're either going, you're a fucking lunatic or yeah. you're going, lad, you're right. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. either side, I think he's really good at getting. He wins both parties over Yeah. Him. I yeah. think, I think that's, that's his grace to start Yeah. Like, like, like what, what I wanted to know about that, uh, because like, he's like, I, I, I've seen all of his specials, even the ones that aren't on Netflix. I've seen them so many times over. Like, what was it like working so closely with, with, with him in particular? So you say I work closely with him. We didn't spend that much time together. Okay. You were in the same building, that was it. Yeah. So, because, like, he's quite neurotic when it comes to putting a special out. Yeah. He cares. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? He wants, he wants it to be as good as it is possible to be. So, I did Glasgow, Manchester Apollo, and that's why this tour for me, doing the Apollo, when I, I opened for him, the main is, guy. like, yeah. Yeah. It's such a big thing. Yeah. Full circle, I know. And then, so I did Glasgow, Manchester, Apollo, and then t- the two nights of the Royal Albert Hall where he filmed it. Yeah. And so the first night, Glasgow, I get there. His tour manager's there, but he's not. He's not getting there till um, sort of after I've gone on. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I, I go on, I have not met him. I just do 15 minutes, I think it was. Yeah. And I come off and his tour manager goes, uh, uh, before you go, uh, Bill wants to meet you. You got time? And I was like, I don't know, you know, like that. I was like, lad, I've got Wagamama's book, you know. Like, <laughs> the, the, um, the, that too. Yeah, the, there's a cat there. Like, tell him to, to make this snappy. So I go in, and he's he's in his dressing room with his director, Mike Binder, who's also one of the soundest people. Yeah. He reviewed Imperius for me. Like he, really? he, he runs a stand-up website, and he was like, "That's sick." Lad, you know? he, he's just a, go, a really good and really knowledgeable fellow, being in the business for a long time. Wow. He's, he directed Paper Tiger, and I think he directed his most recent one live at Red Rocks as well. Yeah. I'm almost certain. I of that. really like the one at Red yeah. Rocks. You know, I thought it was brilliant. Um, so he's in there, and he, he's just like, he says, "It's a pleasure to meet you." And I was like, "Look, I went, to, I listen to your podcast every now and then, Bill, and I know you're not good with compliments, so I'm just going to start one and not give you any for the rest of the week." <laughs> yeah. I went, I'm a big fan, proper big opportunity for me, this, and, like, bucket list moment. Yeah. I'm doing four shows. I'm not doing Birmingham, but um, I just, I'm, I'm really glad to be here. And he goes, we'll see how you do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how you do you're doing four. And I was like, yes, yeah, and And uh, he goes... such a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's weird. Uh, just close your eyes like, when he says it. <laughs> and he... Uh, I went, I'm just, just going to put it out on uh, on Spotify so we've got Bill Bear on the <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they sent me a few clips and I watched them and I picked you. Yeah. Now, I didn't know that. I thought so like... He picked wow. you personally. That's what he said. I don't that's know whether sick. he was just trying to be nice. Yeah. But that's what he said. I don't feel like... I mean, I, I don't know him, but like, I don't feel like he would say something for the sake I of I don't either, nice. but like, I don't, I'm not... I'm not just going to sit here and say, yeah, he picked me. I'm just like, that, that's that. what he said, do you know what I mean? That's exactly yeah. how I do that. Like, he actually phoned me personally. I'm, I'm begging, begging you to do it, lad. No one else can open this show. Like, at first, um, I was a bit of him because I, I did have Wagamama's book, but I need time. He, um, so he told me that and I was like, because at first, I was promoted by Live Nation at the time. That's when I was last with them and that's uh, that's where it came from. Yeah. So they sent five of their clients and apparently you watched them and, so yeah, I was like, great. And then he goes, um, me and Mike have just got some work to do on the show, so uh, I'll see you in Manchester. And I was like, sound. So I just went into my dressing room. Yeah. Uh, I, I got me bag and stuff. <laughs> I watched most of the show. Yeah. And I thought, do you know what? He's he sort of told me that I've got work to do. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I'm not even going to be here when he comes off. Yeah. Obviously, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. So I went went back to the thing. Get to Manchester. I'm there ahead of him again. But then, like, at, before the show is. Uh, his tour manager goes, uh, Bill wants to see you. And I was like, okay, cool. So I thought maybe he'd see me do something in Glasgow and gone, oh, I've got a bit similar, you know, don't yeah, do yeah. whatever. And uh, I just knocked on the dressing room and I uh, walk in and I go, uh, he, Kenny says you want to see me? And he goes, just want to hang out with you. Just you, you want to sit down and have a, f- have a, a, have a drink. There, <laughs> and then, you know. uh, so we just sat around just talking for a bit in his dressing room. Fun. I watched the whole show in Manchester. And he come off in Manchester and went straight out the door. He was like, I'm just going to skip doing a Q&A and a, a meet and greet tonight. I'm going, yeah. I'll, I'll see you in London. <clears throat> London, I didn't see him 
until to tell a lie. I was on stage doing my mic check and he come in doing his little vlog thing that he was doing at the time. I seen him for two seconds. He was like, Hey Adam, how you doing? And that was it. Mm-hmm. And then I, I went back to my dressing room and he was getting make up, make makeup done. And I went on done my set, come off. After the first show in London on the Monday, I didn't see him. Like I, I seen him for two seconds in the day. I seen him in the corridor and that was it. Um the Tuesday is the second night of the tape and I had my dad and me me best mate Carl with me. And uh, I didn't see him until after he come off. I watched the whole tape and I, mm. I watched how Netflix put a fucking special together and that was cool. And That must have been a good process to watch that. It was interesting, yeah. yeah. Um, and then afterwards there's a, a backstage bar, like the arse of Spire at the Royal Albert Hall. And the entire UK comedy industry is in there, like Catherine Ryan's there, yeah. Ramesh Ranganathan's there, the guy who books live at the Apollo's in there, the Shit. head of Live Nation, Ian Coburn. Like the, everyone is in this room. Yeah. And so is me dad and Carl. <laughs> Were you smoking a bit for the guy? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I went to the toilet and I'm walking in the corridor and Bear's just like stood in the corridor and he goes, oh, there you He goes, hey, come here. And he gives me a handshake and he goes, like, well done for all week. He said, you've been brilliant. Uh, let, let me know if I can do you a favour at any, at any point. And I was like, great. So I went, could you do me one now? And he goes, what is it? I go, me dad is like one of your biggest fans and he's in the bar will you come and just say hello and he goes oh of course that's not a favor yeah absolutely so we walk in and the whole room does that tries to yeah. like jump on him yeah. do you know what i mean and he's like fucking get out of the way and he he, he stops to speak to one person mm-hmm. who's like obviously important for yeah. like two seconds and he goes i'll be back in a minute and he just goes straight to me dad that's sick you know like just everyone else wow. just out the way yeah. straight to me dad Takes a photo with him, takes a photo with Carl, takes a photo with me, and we're done. And then uh, the Royal Albert Hall, like, oh, you got to leave in a minute. Like, this is maybe, like, half an hour later. Yeah. He'd booked the terrace of a hotel to have, like, a little after party. Yeah. Weirdly, I ended up in the last taxi going. Sick. So it was me, <laughs> me dad, Carl, Anna, who works for Live Nation, yeah. and her friend in this taxi. And he's like, that. you got an aux cable there, lad? <laughs> get on this band, lad. You get aux cable in the cords, you're going to love them. Um, and yes. we pull up, and so the terrace is at the front of the hotel. Yeah. It's not like a, a roof bar. It's yeah, like, yeah. And uh, <laughs> we pull up, and you got to understand, my dad, as I say, he smokes. And I used to leather him for, like, smoking in the house. He'd be like, yeah. get in the fucking garden. Yeah. Just, like, I can't, but I'm asthmatic. We pull up, we get out of the car, and Bill Bear goes, Adam! We're smoking cigars. Get over here. <laughs> and I went, I'll be over now, Bill. Right. And my dad goes, you going to smoke a cigar? And I went, Dad, he could have heroin. He could have <laughs> 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 going over to that table <laughs> to do whatever <laughs> they're doing. Right? Uh, they always smoke in the house like this one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what. So for those four shows, I got 500 quid a night. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's two grand for the week. I yeah. thought about right? a week, though. So... They've done it for fucking free though, really. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So we walk into the bar, fancy London hotel bar, and my dad's a whiskey drinker. Carl will have one occasionally, and I'm a whiskey drinker as well. So I went, look, do you know what? Let's just get the most. What a week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I went, let's just get once in a lifetime. Ridiculous. Once in a lifetime bevy from a bar. Yeah. So I went, what's your most expensive whiskey? And she goes, it's a Nika from the Barrel, I think 12 year. Like, Nika from the Barrel's expensive anyway. Yeah. yeah. And it was an aged one. I can't even find this on the internet anymore. It must have been like a limited run. Yeah. And I went, how much is that? She goes, it's 75 quid for, for 25 mil. So it's 150 quid for a double. Oh, right? that's, oh, fucking hell. And I went, right, we'll have three doubles. <laughs> I mean, that goes, don't do that. I went, that's tonight's wages. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm not loaded, but. Yeah, I can spend the night's like, wages. I can, like, tonight's wages on a bevy. An occasion like this, and he goes, oh, "Fuck's sake, God!" I went, "I'm getting it." So, do you want a shit one? Because I'm having that. <laughs> yeah, you, you can have a GMB, and you know it's. Uh... <laughs> and he brings the fucking drinks over, gives us them, and just passes off towards the back. You can't put ice in that, though, can you? I did have an ice cube in yeah. it, <laughs> and then uh, he starts to serving someone else, and I went, "Mate, I owe you for the drinks," and he goes, uh, "They're all on Mister Burr's tab." <laughs> You look like you're taking advantage of oh, that. Right. Is that. Is that real favour? Right. <laughs> that's the favour, isn't it? So I went, mate, you're going to have to let, let me pay for them. Yeah. yeah. So one of the heads of, so Bill Bear's company, All Things Comedy, they were there as well, and the head, so sound, fella called Mike. And I called him up and I was like, Mike, 
YouTube on this tab and I've I've put up 450 quid on it. I've only been, I've literally been here three minutes, mate. Like, I just, I, 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 do you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I need, to, I need to be able to pay it. They want to be paid to say, and they've got no till, and he was like, you're not paying it. Like, y- you've done this week for us. Like, Live Nation are paying you that money, but, yeah. like, this is on us. Like, if you'd have asked me what drink to get, I'd have told you to get that, and he wouldn't let me pay for it. I could have gone back and asked for the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, he said I could, Bill yeah, 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 And then I went and smoked a cigar and pretended I knew what I was doing. Oh, <laughs> uh, like, that's sick, you know. Sat around with, yeah, just like, wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that's crazy. so sick, that's you know. Sick, crazy memories, that, isn't it? One thing before we finish up, because um, we'll do the Patreon episode in a minute, before we finish up the public episode, um, I don't, I forget who it was who told me the story a while back, but you opened the Franzu shorts as well, didn't you? Yeah. Is it, let me tell me if I've got this story right. You had right. tickets always, to go I always in. get these confused. Is Andrew Schultz Barbie Mada? No. No, that's Santino. That's Santino. Okay. Andrew Schultz is like the Italian New York fella. You know, have you ever watched the Flagrant podcast? Yes. Yeah. The good looking fella, the yeah, big one. Yeah, fella. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so you had tickets for the show anyway, didn't you? And then did, was it on the day you emailed him? No, not quite. So what had happened was Schultz hadn't blew up like he has now then. Yeah. But he was doing well. Yeah. Um. Freddie Quinn introduced me to him. That's sick. But at the time, he still had a, a Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, not like, oh, this is Andrew. Like, yeah. he was just like, sent me a clip of him. Oh. Um, I thought you meant like that. Exactly. <laughs> this. Oh, Freddie was fuming with this. Was he? Because he'd like found like his stuff and yeah. sent it on to me. At the time, Andrew still had a Facebook profile. Wow. Not like a we fan page. Adam was a friend yeah. and that. Yeah. yeah. Right. So Send Freddie sent me the stuff and then I, I'd Googled it and it, you know, he's coming to London, Leicester Square yeah. Theatre. So I said to Freddie, let's get some tickets and we did. And then I found them on fucking Facebook. <laughs> and I was just being cheeky, do you know what I mean? I was like, hey mate, uh, love your stuff, coming to your show in London. Anyway, come with myself, here's a clip, let me know if you need someone to open. And he replied within about an hour or two. Sure. And was just like, uh, I'll let you know near the time, man. Uh Enjoyed the show. Yeah. He's obviously just being like, who the yeah, fuck yeah, is yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on the day before I was got the train down, I woke up, I'm in bed, and uh, he'd messaged me back and gone, I've just watched that clip now. Are you still coming to the show? And do you still want to open it? Because wow. come and do it. My That's ass sick, was a fellow, you know. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'll come and do it. Uh, sold me ticket or gave me ticket away to another comic. Went and opened it. Freddie's like, how the fuck have you done this? I was like, I just, I literally just asked him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Facebook, like. And yeah, did a good job. He asked me to go back the next night, but I couldn't. I had yeah. a corporate gig in London, so I got K Kerd to do it. I, gave, I text K and was yeah. like, do you want to do this? Uh, and Schultz was just, Schultz is probably like the nicest person I've met. Yeah, you've, you've, in you've comedy. been on his podcast when you were in New York. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, and if, if Timon's wait, like he's dead busy next week. He's, he's in the middle of shooting a movie at the minute, but we're trying to figure out a day where Jump we could do on. it maybe again. Um, he, uh, he's like, oh, let me send you some money for the. Let me send you. Have you got Venmo or PayPal? And I was like, don't send me any dough. Just put a, a word in with a couple of New York comedy clubs yeah. for me. So oh, I go over, nice I can then. do a spot. And he was just like, oh, I'll do both. Sick. So he sent me 100 quid and then uh, got me a few gigs while I, the first time I went over. That's oh, sick. Nice like, that favor for a favor. He, he's just. He's that, just yeah. that seems to be a thing now, though, on the circle. I don't like you can call in favors with people. Like if you look after each other. It's it's mad, isn't it? I think that's a good way of doing it as well, though, because for fucking years... It's changed everything. People have been horrible to each other. It wasn't really accessible, was it? It wasn't that, like, like, like what you've done, it, it, like, as sort of... It's opened it up to people a lot more as well, whereas for years it wasn't accessible to, like, unless you were, like, really someone... Have a word. Like, the way we run Have a Word and get sort of, you know, comics with smaller profiles on yeah. and try and push things and, yeah. you know, shooting specials for other comics and yeah. whatnot. We're doing that because of... The attitude yeah, I found yeah. in Schultz. Yeah. That's like, sick, you know. Like, that is almost directly attributed to him. And he, he'd credit Rogan for that. Yeah. Like, he'd say he's the way he is because of the way Rogan is. Yeah. Because Rogan's done a lot for other his mates and other comics yeah, and people yeah. he rates. He's opening like, a club this week, and he? Well, so week. It's already yeah. opened. It had its first night last night. We, was it last night? But, like, I, I watched what they were doing, and I was like, this is the way... Uh, when we first started to have a word, and it started looking like it was going to do, you know, something decent. Something definitely. I said to Dan... With Give back. it's very important to me that we do it this way. Yeah. And Dan was like, "Okay." Um, I was like, "If if one of our mates, especially a mate of ours, yeah. is putting a special out or they're releasing a book or going on tour, yeah. we get them on." Yeah, like, and it's just we push the fuck out of it. Yeah, we retweet everything they put yeah. out. You know, if if we've got a Patreon page, 
with fucking 20,000 people. Yeah. Why are we not doing a post going, <clears throat> Alfie Brown's got a book out? Like, it costs us nothing. Yeah. Like, and then these people, like, I know full well, have a way they'll get in trouble at some point. Everything does now. Yeah, though, do it? you know what I mean? Yeah. And, but, like, we're not doing it for this reason. But we there's a lot of comics now who know we're not cunts and know we're sound. Yeah. And if we were to get in trouble, there'd be an army of people who go, fuck off now. Yeah, 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 yeah. The soundest people going. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you haven't done it intentionally, but it's nice to know that you've got people there yeah. who back it, though. Like, it's, it's something that crossed my mind a while back. I was like, we've got people, good people who will defend us. Yeah. yeah. Because... You know, we do overstep the line sometimes, like every yeah, fucking lad yeah, does yeah, when they're yeah, trying yeah. to make the mates laugh saying the yeah. worst thing possible. Yeah. yeah. Like, Dan said you just had one close one once. That was it, like. We did, yeah. We, we, did, we put we a did clip out about yeah. emo um, community. Catfishing and the disabled community didn't yeah. like it. Yeah. And my former agent told me that his official advice was that I go on disability awareness training. Why well, you already know they exist? That's why you jump out of the mum has one leg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I said like, that. I said that to me agents. I was like, Christian, you know me. Mum had one leg, <laughs> and he went wise and then went. But we can always learn more. <laughs> Should have sent him on the course. But it was like when, <laughs> <laughs> when you we are clearly not aware of the disabled. When we upset people on the uh, the Thomas Hartley episode, they ended up in the Daily Mirror and everything. You were in the Daily Mirror, OK Magazine, and all that, and. Uh, it was about someone's dead parents and people were writing comments going, ah, oh, karma's going to bite you in the ass. One of you's going to fucking lose your parents and it's going to be funny. And we were like, man, and Bobby's half fellas are fucking brown bread. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he's not a fucking clue. It's just, yeah, stop being a dickhead. The, you, you get to a point with it where you realise that you, there's always going to be a way to upset someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, Freddie yeah. Quinn the other day tweeted something. It was dead funny as well. It was like, uh, he asked Jeremy Vine. Yeah, seen that. And oh. he put... Jeremy, uh, are you cycling around London at the minute? I'm reversing out my driving. I'm, just re- I'm, I'm reversing out my driving, Preston. I don't want you to think I've got too close. <laughs> <laughs> right? But, like, people are replying to that offended, going, oh, uh, that motorists and cyclists is a serious, dangerous yeah, problem. Oh, like, yeah. if that's upsetting people, yeah. then ju- you've got to just ignore it. Yeah. He blocked me on Twitter the other day, Jeremy Van. He's a fucking I retweeted end. one of his videos of him on his fucking bike when he was, he was, lad, he was riding his bike in a bus lane. And, and was fucking kicking off because a bus went, a, a bus had to go round them. So I just retweeted it. He's like the Google Earth car if it was a grass and a paedophile. <laughs> and he pumped, blocked me. I was like, I mean, come ahead, Jeremy. I'd mean. block you if you called me a grass and a paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either grass or a paedophile. I, I know he's definitely a grass and I've got suspicions about the second one. Right? You know what? I'm not a grass or a paedophile, but if I was, then it'd offend me even more. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. what I mean? I'd be like, he's on to me. I'm not fucking engaging <laughs> with him. You made it your first, Jeremy Vines, <laughs> a snitch and a paedophile. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna call that an episode because I really, really need a piss. Either way as well. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for coming. That I'm so glad you said that because I'm too scared to go to the toilet on my own in this building because I'm convinced the building's haunted. So <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going. On, I'm not going. With, yeah. <laughs> well, no, there's two separate toilets. No, I'm, I'm waiting till you come back. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not going to the toilet. With you. If I know you're scared, going on your own. Well, no, no, because now I'm not going to go. I'm going to kid you, mate. on purpose, you brat. I'm gonna piss. You know what I mean? He just wants team poos. That's what I want. I high five. You know, over the cube. Shit. Like, let's see you can piss for the longest. Go on, lad. I can hold it. I've got a good bladder, mate. No, because you're gonna scare me coming out the toilet. I won't. But now I think you're going to. I know. And that's but remember all those kids you made? Why is he on paper? <laughs> 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 this is revenge you, of the gimps. Like, like, you know, ever, ever. Sorry. You know the mild high episode we put out? Yeah. Someone just comments to go and feel sorry for that bird having that accent about Amy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna say me, lads. I always get told to look like a woman. And I can I can't see it. It's just when you were crying drunk in town. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was before you had long hair. That was before then, lad. Can't imagine you without your long hair. Do you want to see it? Oh, lad, it's, it's weird, scary, you, know? you know. It's really weird. Like, um, it's mad. Like, it, it's proper weird. It looks like I had a brother who actually went to college and was qualified to be successful. Um, he looked like he got groomed. Yeah. Yeah, by this fella with the long hair. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Let me try and find a picture, lad. Um, one second. Look, we can cut this bit out, but... How long have we done, Bob? How weird, that? Now we're 48. Oh, that is weird. That's scatty, that, innit? <laughs> but look, 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 look behind them. Look oh, yeah. Look behind look. them. I, I put that and I just captioned it. I feel like I'm always looking over my own shoulder. <laughs> but I'm trying to get deep with it. Oh, my God, lad. Do that again with you zoomed in and your head cut off. I'm just Ellen. It's just... Who do you look like there? It's a woman as well. 
Ellen DeGeneres. No, it's not like the oh, face. I feel like I know what you mean, but I can't. It's a, it, 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 it's a lesbian woman, isn't it? Is she a comedian? Is it the one? Is it the the, the, the video when she goes, "I'm a female." No, that's, <laughs> that's who's the, the who's fucking teacher of him. Who's, who's <laughs> show, I think I might know what you mean. Who's the woman who the was the teacher who, in most American show? I think it is Sue Sylvester <laughs> of Glee. <laughs> it might be that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the first <laughs> time I've heard that. That's not yeah. the first. I thought you were going to say the woman who was comparing live at the Apollo tonight. You done it because I had about three messages. Jen Brister. <laughs> yeah, I had about three messages. People <laughs> telling me that me and her had the same face. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know that. It is Sue Sylvester, though, yeah. Thanks for getting this far on the podcast. Now for a little word from our sponsor, Orange County CBD. <gasps> Put them on the screen now. <sighs> ah, here we go. Uh, Orange County CBD, use code HAPPEN10 at checkout and you get 10% off all orders on all products, whether that be your CBD oils, you've got your jellies, you've got your vapes, which are a healthier alternative to the likes of your disposable vapes with the nicotine in. And now they're also doing a skincare range as well. So if you want gleaming skin like ours, Orange County CBD and use code HAPPEN10 in the checkouts for 10% off all of your orders. We love you. Right, but, are we yeah. calling it then? Adam, thank you so much for coming down. No I really appreciate worries. it. Thanks if you like the episode, drop a like on the video. Get over to the Patreon. We'll leave Did all of that. See more. You see more. We're going to. <laughs> well, we're going to record the Patreon. And all, we're going to record the Patreon, and all, time, record record the Patreon episode. Now, if you like this one, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We'll leave all of Adam's links down in the description as well. So we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. We love you.